I'm saying should... it's a market that we haven't cornered yet. Look, I, I appreciate it, but it's so unhealthy, and I, I know you're trying to push push it and whatnot, but I mean... Uh... Okay, okay, here's but... the question, though. Here's the question, though. Frozen or toasted? Neither. I mean, toasted. They're both terrible. No, no, no. Toasted, obviously. Thank but here's you. The thing. Thank you. Why, Here... why the fuck would you ever freeze them? Yeah. <sighs> but, but here's what you really have to ask yourself, right? What do we care about more? That people are eating healthy or that everyone is eating? Because we can produce so much more of this because it uses some artificial ingredients. It'll Look. feed more people. Yeah, but well, it'll also put. It'll also give people diabetes and heart failure and, and all these other problems. They won't die of starvation. Bro, Love listen. how you say that. I got a Kit Kat ad, and it's like, mm, all right. Bro, <laughs> let, you got you got to understand something. When I get up at six o'clock in the morning and I got to commute to work, and I just want my dumb lizard brain to fucking say, oh, by the way, what you have in your mouth that's processing tastes like strawberries. Oh, maybe my day's not so fucking bad. Right. Man, exactly. man, but have you, uh, okay, I want, you, I want you to reel me this, and Mark, you'll understand this. I want you to imagine thick Japanese sliced milk bread, lightly, ever so brown and crisp, and you got two nice big hard cuts of butter just going right through it. The simplicity of it all, allows you to just taste every single bite a little bit of toast and a little bit of butter i mean you put some you put some other stuff on it. you can top with fruit but keep when, it real simple all right when was the last argument. time you could get that in brazil we're not in brazil we're <laughs> not but i'm saying <laughs> what kind of market are more market? easily available in every country worldwide than thick cut Japanese slices. Yo, Brazil toast. listeners, you have bread? Please comment. Like, hey, please comment. Let us know. But they don't you have, have Japanese bread. Are you like, okay? Hey, right. Do you have bread in this country? Bread in it's not that they don't have bread. They don't have Japanese toast. That's what I'm getting at. Listen, Listen I'm... Nowhere, nowhere has Japanese toast because it's Japanese <clears throat> toast. It's in I have Japan. Japanese to I have Japanese toast here. No, oh, good. Is it truly you. Japanese Did you toast order if it it's from not Japan? toasted in Japan? Look, I have Japanese toast literally 15 minutes away from where I live. I'm in I'm in downtown Yeehaw country. But, but is yes. that Japanese toast? Because you're not toasting it in Japan. You're toasting it in, in Merca. Because the point is, is that you can make it literally anywhere. It's the process in which you make the bread. Bro, can I just spend 350 on a box of fucking fruit and bread? Seriously. <laughs> Hello, can. everybody. And Hello Hi, everyone everybody. and welcome to the podcast. I, I got work in four hours. <laughs> what are, what are, what kind of podcast are we? We're like a brave little Pop toaster. Pop tart discourse. Pop tart. <laughs> what Pop tart else? discourse. That's oh, what we're here for, right? You know, you know who we need? We need Pop Tart Depression to like come yeah. in here and, and with their gavel yeah. and to like to to rein us in. I think is what we need. Hear ye, hear ye. Well, in the meantime. Uh, we should go around the horn and introduce ourselves, starting with resident uh, Japanese toast expert Gaijin Goomba. Where can they Damn find right. you and what are you up to? Uh, I am in the process of recovery of not death. Uh, I've had this damn cold for a week and a half, and it's probably going to take the rest of my break for it to go away. Sad times. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every uh, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, and Mondays now. Yeah, I'm going to be open yes. up Mondays. Monday's going to be a dedicated build stream <sighs> night. I heard sighing. Is that a problem? <laughs> nope. Sorry. <laughs> ah, it's fine. No, there's just, there's still a lot to put together and I, I want to mess around with that. Plus my paint seminar is not going great. Kind of irritating. But anyway, um, man, we've been dabbling around with some uh, Cyberpunk 2077 because the uh, anime got into my brain and uh, it's far better. It's not great. You, you know that montage at the very, very beginning of the game? Um, everybody was T-posing and headless for a while, and it was hilarious. But that's been the only major screw-up thus far. Um, man, aside from that, uh, probably gonna be more Monster Hunter this weekend, because the new DLC drops tomorrow. There's gonna be three new monsters to go knock out, uh, and it's it's just all weeby goodness. It's it's gonna be great. Um, speaking of weeby good goodness, I will be getting back on my weeb shit, uh, after next Sunday. I have a lot of video ideas. Uh, I might be working with a couple of people on some special projects, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, um, orcs and weep shit is going to be me for the foreseeable future. <clears throat> right on. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you, and what are you up to? 
You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life <clears throat> I, uh, I had to cancel my stream yesterday because I've been dealing with a minor sore throat for the last four days. Um, you may hear me clear my throat a few times tonight because I'm still kind of getting over it. It's been a problem. Um, that does mean that um, I likely will have no streams this week. Um, I'm not going to be able to stream on Saturday. Uh, for reasons that may become apparent later. Um, I can't talk about it just yet, but hopefully soon. Um, and my Thursday streams are out for the moment. So hopefully next week we'll be back on Tuesday, jumping back in to play Shadow's Story on Sonic the Hedgehog, the 06 version. Ugh. We are going to get back to it, I promise. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for your patience. I really appreciate you dealing with my vacation and then subsequently being sick. It's been crazy and fun and awesome and i love all of it <clears throat> but yeah we'll see everybody next week that's it for me all right all right um uh, zito where can they find you and what are you up to twitch.tv slash zito uh cz backlash on twitter uh indie games fuck tons of them uh brotato is now encompassed my entire fucking life and it's only four dollars <laughs> <laughs> i was watching you play that that was so much fun I am I am disgusted at how much fun I had for $4.99. <laughs> uh, beyond that, uh, Friday will be the Outbound Ghost because I want to give that a little bit more of a of a roll up because it's basically Paper Mario meets Pokemon and it kind of needs a little bit more time to it than what I gave the other three games I played last night. Uh, outside of that, Yo Aloysius uh, Volume Two's got a cover. Ooh, yeah, it, it looks really good. Oh, it's yeah. Being on. It's being worked on. I posted it in chat. It's. I swear to God, I will get this thing out before the end of the year. That's that's my goal at this point. There you have it. And, uh, yeah, just <clears throat> stick around if you want to see more silly-ass indie games that you may or may not... That you could probably find for insanely cheap and then have hours of fun and then be like, God damn it, Zito, what the fuck? I, I'm, I'm waiting on Pokemon. Why'd you do this to me? Fuck you. That you literally did that to me a couple weeks back, and I yeah. Just All right, good. Get fucked. Earn savings. Get your video games. All I've, hail Long Diglett. I've I've no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, he's the best. Fuck you. He scares me so much. <laughs> he looks I've, like he looks like Kezu. It's really cute. Oh my god. I've, um, I've dumped 125 plus hours in a scrap mechanic, and that is still indie, so. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Play indie <laughs> games because they are made with love, dedication, and they don't have any bureaucracy bullshit when it comes to AAA stuff. Get you fucking indie games. Yeah. Uh, all right. Edward Bosco, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Uh, they could find me right here uh, giving my thoughts and prayers to the people of Florida and I think it's important to yeah. do that there is, there is a historic storm, hurricane category 4, for those of you that know what that is blowing through Florida for those of you that are in America, you might remember Hurricane Charlie from 2004 mm -hmm. that storm was so bad they retired the name and this one is worse <clears throat> it's Charlie wins with Katrina storm surge, so it's really bad and uh if you know anybody in Florida, we're definitely thinking about you. Uh, try to check in on anybody that you know that's in Florida, and we're thinking about you. So please yeah. stay safe. Please heed the warnings. This is not a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got we got I some just... friends in in Florida as well. One of, our, one of our artists, Siggy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I believe Brett Ultimus is also another DM on Twitch. Yep. I believe is also in Florida as, as well. As, so. as someone who has been displaced by a hurricane for two years, it's no fucking joke. It's not fun, no. It's so. not. This is. It's. It's very. It's very serious, and hopefully nobody gets killed by this storm because they had a couple days to prepare for it. But it got real yeah. bad real quick. Stay uh, safe out there, yeah, folks. Sorry, that, yeah, that's yep. my spiel. I guess I'm thinking about you, Florida. All right, and Monty, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue when I'm not passed the hell out. Um, I'm very sorry I canceled my streams this past week. Um, I am hoping to get back into Majora's Mask here pretty soon. We just finished the Great Bay Temple. 
Um, and we're going to be going to, uh, I think, the sand one that Zito has hyped up as being real bad or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to finish that game out here pretty soon. I have some plans of what to play afterwards. Uh, if you haven't caught it, um, I am running Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the uh, Dungeons & Dragons pre-made module that is the longest pre-made module. It's a huge dungeon crawl that takes you from level 5 to 20. Um, the players have currently just reached level 4, and if you haven't been catching that, this is where it gets real good. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I do actually upload all of my, most of my VODs to my YouTube account, which I do have, which is just Monty Blue. I have all of Majora's Mask, and I do have all of Dungeon of the Mad Mage there. So if you've been interested in just kind of a pickup game that's like where you can just kind of drop in and listen to, it's really good. It is, a, like I said, it's a pre-written module, so it's all something you can buy. Uh, and it's, you know, it's my learning game. It's where we learn, and we have quite the Motley crew there. Um, beyond that, um, I can't really think of anything else I've really been doing. I've just been working on Expectables and that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, check it out. Check out my Twitter for announcements. I'm, again, I'm very sorry my streams have been interrupted. I think everyone can attest in this channel. Uh, Autumn has come with a baseball bat and has been relentless <laughs> with in uh, terms of personal yeah. health. Yeah. So uh, a few of us are a little sniffly. You guys, really great. Uh, <sighs> a few of us are very sniffly. A few of us are kind of coffee. So just uh, we thank you for your patience because it's been a bit of a rough one. So. Hard in our. <laughs> Paralysis, we're dying. So that's it for me. Alrighty. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh oh. Um, however. Cotter. Uh, what? <laughs> you said uh oh for that one. That, that, that burp was uh oh. <laughs> Uh, however, uh, this Friday, September 30th, uh, at around 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, uh, on twitch.tv slash everyone games 2, uh, I will be helping to raise some money, uh, to, what charity is it? Stack Up. Uh, uh, it's to bring uh, both veterans and civilians uh, together through their shared love of video gaming. It helps basically to alleviate PTSD, depression, and emotional distress. Uh, and I'll be playing some Dungeons and Dragons over there uh, at 3 p.m. You? Uh, uh, that's right. Uh, our game is going to be DM'd by Honey and Dice. And joining me are going to be Cerulean Rex, uh, Carmilla99, The One Janitor, Drunken Bard, and Luke Gygax. Ooh. You heard that right. So so join us this Friday and and bring your wallets because we got a good cause to donate to. I don't see a single gazebo. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, um, we're getting boosted to 2,000 recommendations. Yeah, because we got a level 11 fucking boost uh, hype train. Uh -huh. Dear lord, you guys. Uh-huh. Hello. Hot darn. If, if, you, if this is your first time watching The Unexpectables, buckle up. You're in for a time. <laughs> You're I'm walking in on part 18 of an ongoing D&D &D podcast. No, start it. Come on, join us. Also, it smells like onions in my room for some reason. I don't know why. Don't cry. I'm going to try okay. my best. See, the onion Pop-Tart is both compact <laughs> and, and, and I'm going to do one last bathroom run, I swear to God. <laughs> like, filled, filled to burst with flavor. Is it a good flavor? That I don't know. There are biases in the world. Hey, but I'm telling you... we were going to give people good food. We're just feeding them. That's the important part. Yeah, exactly. Indeed. Okay. Okay, Zenlita, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this only once and what but once nicely. Don't call me by my full name. That's only what something my parents can do. Because <laughs> I uh, I assimilate that with being in trouble. Do not do that. And speaking of trouble, 
we've, Zito... we've got some we got some trouble oh, packed in we for should announce this our... month. Yes, we should announce what's going to happen in oh, uh, shit, October. Yeah. Should we talk about our sponsors first before we do that? Uh, no, we can talk about them afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as you might have guessed, uh, October is usually the month where we take a, a break from our usual schedule, and we've got uh, two new games. Uh, two, two different returning, rather, uh, campaigns for the month of October. We've got <clears throat> the return of Ravenloft. Yeah. Uh, DM'd by our own Edward Bosco. Indeed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, wow, thanks, we'll Bosco. Be, really helping with the hype there. <laughs> we'll be uh, traversing to a different domain of dread, I believe. Yeah, so we we'll, left yes. off on a... Uh, on a Interesting cliffhanger. Interesting cliffhanger. Clip. I don't want to spoil it because some people might not have caught up yet, but um, yeah, we, we ended in quite the interesting end. I am both interested and scared. Yeah, I mean that's kind of Ravenloft in a in a nutshell. Is I'm I'm intrigued but terrified. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and also returning uh, campaign will be Gobtober. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. As there... the as the goblin heroes return once again, it's Gorbin uh, time. Gorbin time. Oh no, they're gonna Gorb. <laughs> Get him Gorbin. Um, as he Gorbin. as he we, shrink right now. We should probably yeah. mention that this year the days are kind of different, though, for what we're running. Yes. So normally Gobtober would be on Wednesdays and Ravenloft would be on Saturdays. However, we are switching those around due to some people not being able to make certain days. Uh, unfortunately, this means uh, Gaijin Goomba will unfortunately be unable to uh, yeah. join us for Saturday Gobtober. You'll be uh, fine. We may have uh, someone, someone to fill in your shoes, however. It was uh, a short one, very short necromancer. But... Bijan Bloomba. <laughs> oh god! Whoa, we <laughs> landed Bijan Bloomba? No, I way. know it's so hard to book. Hello, everyone. It's me, <laughs> Bijan Bloomba here. I Whoa! Fucking hate that guy. <laughs> I'm fighting him uh, on the copyright. I hate. Yeah. I hate. It's okay. I hate me too. <laughs> Legally distinct, Bijan Bloomba is here. Yeah. <laughs> Running a life yes. cleric. <laughs> <laughs> anyway please uh we are very excited for that i i get my break um and uh we'll be back to our regular our regular stuff in november but we gotta we gotta amp up the spooky month so we hope you guys Indeed. catch it with our with our dms and enjoy it and have a good time <clears throat> indeed indeed so okay. so join us this october for a bunch of crazy times and, uh, and but when does that start? That starts, uh, I believe, the first episode of Gobtober will be this Saturday. Yep. Yep. So it's like right smack dab Literally. on the 1st of October. We're getting yep, right into October. it. We're getting right yeah. into it. All right. All right. Well, uh, other than that, it's, I got some bits and subs to read off. Well, no, this speaking of fun. fun. Speaking of oh, fun and, and speaking right. of D&D &D games and speaking of rolling dice and speaking of making those dice do things and speaking of nice dice and nice dice uh, that you can buy and dice trays and dice trays. Uh, stuck in a loop. We're speaking of Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! That's right. You can head out over to dieharddice.com and use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order when you shop at dieharddice.com. They like us. Yay. I hope. Yes. And we also like the, them. The code on the screen is inaccurate. It is no longer with an exclamation point. Yes, I will be fixing that hopefully in the in the coming months here. Oh, yes. We have time, so it's just All unexpectables right. at the moment. So indeed. And now we can read off our business. Yeah. Just uh, yes. we we are running a little bit late, so you have about eight minutes, Connor. That's so fine. I'll, I will say one last thing. There's apparently like a new. Uh, cheering with with dollars thing that's going mm -hmm. on that is happening yeah i saw those that. 
those don't show up on Streamlabs. So if you're cheering with dollars, I apologize, but I can't read you out. It's new tech. Uh, you're it invisible to us. You have superpowers. But, We're sorry. But nonetheless, we've got Dragon Alchemist. Thank you for something for 29 months. King Night Owl. Thank you for the 24 months. Cuban Dragon. Thank you for the 27 months of Prime. Mystical Things. Thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Ben Franklin with his shirt off. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. <laughs> uh, Oz195. Thank you for the 27 months. Thornton6000. Thank you for the 25 months. More Thrandor, thank you for gifting, what is this, 25 subs to the community, I think? I think it's 20. 20, yes. Uh, Zan Wind, thank you for the 28 months. Uncle Comic Book Guy, thank you for gifting three subs to the community. Uh, Gindo Kaze, thank you for the 30 months. Erwin Elf, thank you for the 26 months. G439, thank you for the 30 months. Miss Tweedums, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Captain Carver. Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the 17 months. Night Neptune, thank you for the 18 months. Dark Star Dara, thank you for the 18 months. Paz and Quiet, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Spoil Sport 98. Irish Katana, thank you for the 25 months. Midnight Road White, thank you for the 30 months of Prime. Uh, Archmajos Dragon, thank you for the 14 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the 100 bits. Brian Merrill, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Portal Jumper, thank you for the 50 bits. Crabius the Great Crab Purr, thank you for the... 100 bits. Gauze 21, thank you for the 10 bits. Zanwin, thank you for the 30 bits. Krabby is the Great Crabber, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Uh, Renfield 88, thank you for the 5 subs gifted to the community. Protoss 103, thank you for the 5 bits. Morthrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. I am Spite, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Thornton 6,000, thank you for the 1,000 bits. The Ink Den, thank you for the 26 months Thornton 6,000. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Uh, Devler bat 1987. Thank you for the 5,550 bits. Protoss 103. Thank you for the five bits. Chaos Madudes. Thank you for the 200 bits. Like to Booyah 123. Thank you for the 100 bits. Tommy tune 88. Thank you for the 100 bits. Drago soon. Thank you for the 106 bits. Travis A. Carey, thank you for the 150 bits. And McLovin, thank you for the 13 months. All righty. You guys ready? Oh, my gosh. I think so. Okay. I believe so. All right. So, chat, um, I've been I've been informed that the, uh, the intro was a little loud. I'm very sorry. I've turned it down. So, hopefully, it's not too quiet or too loud. Um, but please enjoy. Um, and let's let's get into it. So, when last we left our adventurers, Gaius Agni, Kai Valentinius, Otho Valentinius, Iskan Seat Lolly, and Milo Brightbeam, the party has been on the hunt for a pearl of Necrecta, 
an ancient and necrotic relic needed to revert the dark powers oppressing the small country of Eastonvale. After traveling southward to the coastal city of Martorallo, the party saw fit to search out the Hesper's Wake, a sailing vessel bearing a pearl of Necreca, Necrecta on its figurehead. After a dungeon delve, dragon turtle diplomacy, and legally distinct ghost pirate sword fights, the party has collected the orb and is attempting to make their way back to their vessel, but upon their arrival, they see now it being assailed by a pack of zombies currently putting the crew at odds. So. Make sure our audio is good here. Do we have a map? Uh, we do, yes. We always have a map. <sighs> I'm here. My audio. <laughs> Ten SQ My... Pop-Tart boy. Hold on, audio is not working on Wallfly. I'm just going to refresh real fast. Uh oh. Okay. I knew it. Kaijin Goon was a toasted strudel kind of guy. I just like regular. He's an Uncrustables mm. guy. Un oh, oh Uncrustables. It's, it's, like it's, a good, like it's a good day in the neighborhood when you got yourself a toaster strudel. I'm a Dunkaroos boy. Dunkaroos, man. Bro, they actually <laughs> sell them around here. Oh, do no. they really? Yeah. Yes, they I do. didn't know they still made them. For some reason, my audio is not working. It Hold was on. working for me. Well, it's working for you guys. It was not Fine. working for Wildfly for some reason. You, you know what would be a nice little side adventure for Milo? Uh, a a, a Fighting camp Dunkaroos? No, a miniature campaign of Night of the Living Bread. Oh, God. Mm. Isn't that an episode of uh, Teen Titans where Beast Boy fights an alien tofu creature? Uh, I believe so. I also, know it's a mo I also know it's a mobile game. I think it was a Goosebumps <laughs> episode, too. Yeah. Or no, maybe it was do Are You, you Afraid of the Dark? Do you, know how you, do you know how you get turned into a zombie in Night of the Living Bread? How? how? Long, guys? A yeast infection. No. Oh. <laughs> Connor. I, I actively was about to press my... Uh, my I'll my be here all night, folks. ...button. I was literally about to press the angry button on my PNG to fucking stream deck. <laughs> and you killed guys. Congratulations. I've been dying, man. It's been a week and a half. Die. Die. Die, potato. Also, I've got, I've got the stream unmuted just to see if... Okay, there we, there we go. I fixed it. Sorry, chat. Oh, really? I had to ref... Like redo the whole win window I had to do it to him oh god there we go weird also yes i can't hear it yep there we go there you go chat the things i do for you so you can hear the music that we got <laughs> all right youtube so, we do care for the sake of brevity and also because it was really hard to design on a map you guys swing on your grappling hook that you've had on you to swing from the dilapidated ships of the sea dragon's bones over to the vessel upon which you see various individuals being assailed by a pack of zombies. <sighs> Zambonis. Zimzams. Zombocoms. And as you guys swing over and land, you see the three crewmen currently on the shoulders of Red Jesse, uh, not Red Jesse, um, currently on the shoulders of uh, Polite Pete the Pirate. Um, I like alliteration. Uh, you see Winona currently looks to be not well. Uh, flanking them is the Minotaur, and currently kind of residing close to you at the moment is uh, Red Jesse at the moment there, Gaius. The rest of the crew seems to be kind of giving a wide berth, and as these very bloated corpses kind of climb aboard, um, they're wearing varying degrees of tattered and moldy clothing. Their corpses like just absolutely sponged up with water, and as you all kind of land, they all <gasps> turn towards you, and I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh boy! Oh, oh my God! Here I go killing again. Eleven. God. Nineteen. 12. Right. 20. Nice. <clears throat> so we have Lotho. We have Gaius. We have 
Ski Scan. We have Milo. And we have Kai. Not to say Kai. <laughs> All right, your allies are going to roll. Okay, allies are doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, so they would go here. Because they have a higher dex mod. All right. And then the enemies. Okay. Uh, that would put them after. Yep, makes sense. All righty. Otho, you are up first as you swing across and land on the ground with your companions. These zombies kind of snap their necks towards you. You can just see there's barnacles kind of attached to their skin, and they kind of <sighs> turn their attention towards you. All right. Uh, I noticed that Winona's not looking so well, right? No, she does not look very well. All right. I am going to use my bonus action to dash. Uh, and I'm going... I'm going to get right up here in between this Minotaur and this dude. And, okay. and I'm going to I'm going to look over my shoulder and say, what's wrong with you? Are you ill? Uh, you see her? She's kind of clasping both of her hands over her mouth, and she is a pale of, like, she is just a shade of green right now. She looks very unwell. She doesn't look injured, though. Someone failed to save. Guy is like loading a shotgun. Shame. Shame. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, polite, with the polite, polite Pete in the brief moment goes, Oh, it's nice to see you guys again. Um, there's a situation and just smiles as a zombie is just like, I noticed that. What's wrong with her? Uh, well, it appears we might have gotten a bit more lodged than we thought on the land. So the sickness is real. Fine. Try to get the boat on board. And I'll pull out my saber and I'll ready my action to strike at, the, at a zombie if it comes uh, at me. You got it. All right. That brings us to the allies' turn. Uh, Red Jesse is going to turn towards you guys and go, You've got this right. Thumbs up, guys. Cracks okay. his knuckles. <laughs> he is going to move up, and he is also going to join the entourage on top here near the helm. He's going to load a hand crossbow <clears throat> and hold his action. All right, that brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Woo! All right, I Gaius. You charge forward, hooves clacking on the wooden boat. And as you swing up next to a very bloated zombie, what do you do? Punch him. Okay, you got <laughs> that it. Makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Checks punch, out. I'm gonna I'm punch the it. shit out of him. Show you for, for the for for what we talked about, uh, like about like you know guys like punching and everything for whatnot, Monty. J just so we're all clear, I changed jab into unarmed, so we're not confused. Okay, that's probably for the best, yeah. Yeah, so so I literally can, like, offhand unarm, so but it's we, like... But we know what it is. We know. In our we, know what we know it what it is. really we is. Right, but hi, hi, everyone on the YouTube section. Chris Zito here. I got you. Don't worry. Listen. Listen. Listen! <laughs> listen! <laughs> I wanted to punch things, for fuck's sake. Here I go. 18. 18? That absolutely hits. These things are not wearing armor. Hell yeah. Well, oh bludgeoning. My Lord. Bonk. You deck this thing in the head, and as you punch it, imagine the sound of punching a bucket filled with jello. Ew. <laughs> yeah, Gross. your your fist like goes a good like half a foot into this thing's face, and as you bring it back, it's just <clears throat> a concave crater inside of gelatin. It's gross. I, I usually try to avoid this onomatopoeia, but would you say it's a plapping noise? Uh, I would say it's a scorp plap, yes. Oh, God, okay. Cool. Great. Cool, 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 Your cool, fur, cool. by the way, is, like, covered in, like, a Vaseline-like substance. Like, it feels <clears throat> nasty. Yeah. Oh, how fucking absolutely abhorrent. 
Uh, it's still alive, is it? Yep, it is still alive. Its arms are still reaching out towards you. Excellent. Uh, unarmed offhand. You got it. It's a bonus action. You got it. Um, as a technical, it is not alive. It's 24. A... Uh, so you need to do a grapple to do the unarmed strike on top of it, correct? No, that's if I want to grapple it. Because you don't get an unarmed attack as an offhand. Oh, you know what? Sure, Unless you grapple. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that then. That's just um, a competing athletics check, which is, Yeah, it's, you know. it's competing athletics. You're right. I apologize. 25. You're all good. Oh, yeah, you fight. I rolled terrible. You you got him. And then you go in for a jab. And I'll let the 24 ride over just because that was my bad. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. 11. No, it's not 11 bludgeoning. It is... Uh, oh, my God. It's 7. 7 bludgeoning damage. You got it. You kind of grab him around the neck and kind of twist the neck and just kind of punch down. And as you kind of rip off his head, he is still alive. Uh, <laughs> can I roll my 1d4 damage for grappling? Uh, when does that apply? I believe. Let me double check. Uh, Tavern Brawler is unarmed strike on a creature for damage. When you hit a creature with an unarmed strike or an improvised weapon on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt the grapple. Uh, do, 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 Why are you doing a d8 as unarmed damage? Because feels... of unarmed fighting. Okay. Unarmed fighting without anything equipped in my hands automatically makes it a d8. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gotcha. So, so yes, then it's just a seven. I promise, I promise you, it is, it is, You're good. It is up to code. You're good. You're I good. promise You're you, up it's to up to code. code. And if not, then whatever. You're having fun anyway. All I right, yeah. I, be I believe it is on enemy's turn. They take 1d4 before the start of their turn. Uh, no, it is an unarmed. You do a 1d4 points of damage because of Tavern Brawler. Yes. So, also, Connor, you're breathing in your microphone. So so do I do it now or do I do it at, on their turn? You did. You just did the D8. That's what that is. It changes your unarmed strike oh, damage yeah, to a so D8. Yeah, so it changes it to 1D8. Okay, cool. Yes. Excellent. We're good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. And All right. turn. He is decapitated but is still alive, and you have a jelly head in your hand right now that is currently moaning at you. Ah, uh, gross. Toss it over. All righty. Eastkend, it's now your turn. Uh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What do the two zombies that are not currently engaged in melee look like they are doing? Are they looking at us? Are they looking at the crew at the top? Are they just sort of meandering? These ones look, this one looks to be looking at you, the one immediately across from you. <laughs> this other one has just pulled itself up from like the side of the boat. Um, the one currently that Gaius is engaged with is, like, incredibly bloated and spongy. This one is, like, half skeleton, and, like, the bottom half is, like, meat pants is the best way to describe it. <laughs> uh, and the one climbing up seems to be, like, a less bloated corpse, uh, with sort of, like, its guts just kind of, like, hanging out a little bit with, like, tattered, what looks to be a pirate's attire. Um, they seem to be focusing their attention on you, as you seem to be the most immediate thing in their sight. Well, that's rude. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to, uh, equipping Mira's staff, uh, Iskin's gonna hold a hand out towards, uh, this middle zombie who's, like, uh, standing up on this... Yeah, it's would just you say he's, like, on, its... the, the, on yeah. the balustrade or whatever? Currently on the baluster at the moment had pulled itself up. Okay. Uh, he's gonna stretch out his hand, uh, attempting to cast Ice Shard, or Ice Knife, rather, uh, to try and, uh, knock it off. Um, but after a moment, he seems to be kind of struggling. Uh, and then, uh, a slight, uh, white glow, uh, will emanate from his eyes. Uh, and from his hand, instead of an Ice Knife, uh, will come a, uh, Thing that I can't cast? Why can't I cast it? Hang on. Yeah, I'll just do it this way. Uh, a, uh, a white bolt of light in the form of a guiding bolt. A guiding Boy, bolt? It will actually Guiding roll. bolt, friends? If how do you have roll, guiding bolt? Why indeed oh, I do know I have guiding bolt? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 19 to hit. That hits. Go and roll damage. Oh, 10 radiant. Uh oh, okay. I didn't roll that rolls. damage. It just rolled it for me. Cool. 10 radiant damage to this guy. Oh, wait. Hold on. 
Huh? Hi. That doesn't. Yeah, that's right. Why did it roll twice? I don't know. Probably because I clicked it Big twice. Big shrugger. First one didn't roll. Big shrugger. Weird, but I'll let the 19 obviously carry over, and you do 10 radiant damage. Let uh, me double check here. And of course, immediately after, Eastgen's looking at his hand like, what the hell was that? And he is glowing like a disco light right now. Sorry, one second. Just gotta check something real good. Right there we go. Alrighty. You thrust out your hand and the radiant light blasts the zombie in the stomach. You hear kind of like a scratching noise as it kind of digs. It's like almost like a cat trying, you're trying to put a cat in a carrier. It kind of digs its nails into the side and kind of holds itself there, keeping it from being pushed over. But it is like glowing radiantly and there's a solid hole missing from its body now in the shoulder region as it... Uh... Iskan's gonna look over to Milo, and he's gonna actually step towards Milo. Did you do that? Milo's pogging at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Muggers! Uh, and that'll be turn. Alrighty. Uh, shout out to my boy Charles Entertainment Cheese. All right, that ends Iskan's <laughs> turn. It is now the Zombo's turn. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I think I know what the first one is going to do, because it's currently being... One part of it's being held by Gaius, the other part of it is still going. Uh, it is going to, while still being grappled by you, slam you with its fist that it brings together in an overhead swing, Gaius. Altar tries to haymaker. That's a really good roll, holy shit. Uh, 22. Yeah, that hits. Uh, ugh, terrible in the damage roll. Three points of bludgeoning damage as it kind of brings up and smacks you on the head. Ouch. The other zombies. Yeah. <sighs> Goes for you, E scan. Uh oh. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 17 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Uh, again, three points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Ow. As it just like does like you know when you run you, you, Luigi runs and swings his arms in, in melee, oh, it's kind of like that, that, but it's a zombie where he just runs in and just starts pummeling you Amazing. with its fists. Forward A. <laughs> as long as he doesn't smash hit me, I'm good. Yeah, no, wait, this no, one wait. stumbles in as well and is going to go for you, Milo. Actually, Solar Flare. All right, disadvantage. Ow, my eyes. Fuck! Uh, that is definitely gonna miss, because that is a five with a solar flare. As uh -huh. you bring out the light, the zombie uh -huh, rages up its hand, and its attack does not find purchase. Uh, ending its turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Milo will- Try to follow. Milo will take a- Well, nope, nope, that's not a run. Takes a side step over here. Um, raises both hands out, hands spread, and within that emblem in his right hand, rather than a radiant light, a spark of flame protrudes out, and uh, we're gonna drop some burning hands. Okay. That was a shit Kabuki. roll. Uh, oh no. It, I'm angling it. I'm angling it. Uh, I don't think you can angle it from this this direction. Can I not? Can I not why cone not? it this way? Why? Why wouldn't I be able to? Uh, because the cone. Cone is kind of like, so it'd be a cone here, cone here, cone here, and then cone here. You see what I mean? So we had this conversation when I did Burning Hands with Seika. Yeah. On the whole, like, the cone chart allows for, you know, the you know end what? point of the cone to be 15 feet, right? Yeah. I'll allow it. Fuck it. Why not? I don't care. Okay. All right. Fire, baby, let's go. Dex, dex saves, DC 14. Their dexterity is not great. That's the point. Zambo. All right. Zombie number two. Uh, that's a, uh, a soft one. That will fail. Um, which is a failure. And zombie number three, uh, that is a uh, two. <laughs> well, they both take five fire damage. They both take five fire damage. All right. 
A soft this, one? Who would ever roll a soft one? This is not, this is flavor. They're not resistant, <laughs> but they are kind of wet. So as you launch the fire at them, the you hear like a sizzling sound. Um, and it almost smells like like roasting squid in a weird way, but a very unappetizing way, as the fire <clears throat> immediately cauterizes their sort of bloated, watered-down flesh. Yeah. For, those, for those who are eating at home, I'm very sorry. <laughs> All right, Milo, does that end your turn? Uh, I don't really have anything for bonus action, so I believe so. All righty, that brings us around to Kai. It is now your turn with Otho to follow. Uh, Kai is going to look over at Winona, and then he's going to look at the shifting battlefield, and he's going to charge this zombie right in front of him that is grappled with Gaius, uh, and Yo. I am going to bull rush him off the side of the boat. You do a shove action. Correct. So that's well, a right. competing athletics or acrobatics Com of his choice. Uh, it is competing athletics for a shove, so it is there's no acrobatics for this. So... Uh... I thought he, no no no. If when he saves, he can use whichever one is better. I have to use athletics. Oh okay yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying you get to pick whichever one is his better stat, so you don't have to use <laughs> dexterous zombie. Yeah. Uh, he is absolutely going to use strength because, as okay, we've cool. learned, um, zombies cannot jump. <laughs> I'm going to write a Pixar movie about a zombie that can tap Ooh. dance just to survive. Uh, unfortunately, I got an eight. So as you run in and. Imagine running into a man-sized pie um, <laughs> as your elbow and side just immediately go into this thing and, like, congeals inside. And you kind of pull yourself back out. You are covered in this, like, gelatinous ichor. Um, and unfortunately, the zombie stands firm. It is not shoved back. I'm very sorry. That is my turn. Uh, narratively, right. I will just pull myself out and fall on my keister. Okay, you got it. Mother, your descriptions right. tonight got me like this. <laughs> this, is, this is the second grossest yeah, fight. SpongeBob eating Gary's food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very sorry. The only thing worse than this was the zombie squirrel I bit into. Listen, yeah. they've been underwater for a while. Bodies get gross when they're underwater for a while. You would say that they're clammy. Yep. Oh. Yep, that's a you way to put it. You could say that, but why would you? That, 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 because that, that, it's that, apt. <laughs> All right, Otho, it is now your turn. All right. I see that Gaius and Kai probably have this. And I see that that Zombo right there is lit up like a Christmas tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one of my daggers and I'm going to fling it at the base of the neck of this zombie that's lit up by Guiding Bolt. You got it. Go ahead and roll the hit with advantage. Kai, you want to see me? With advantage. That one. Uh, let's One see more time. Natural 20, a 24. 24 still hits, and you have an ally within five feet, so you do get sneak yep. attack. Sneak attack is well, actually, 12 technically piercing with damage. His... Oof. All right, you throw a dagger, and it gets directly <clears throat> into the neck, letting out a horrible squelching noise, uh, but it is still standing. It is These <gasps> zombies seem to have a, bit, a decent amount of vitality. That's not great for us. Hmm. Guiding Bolt is now gone off of that zombie. Hmm. I'm going to stay right where I am. That'll okay. be my turn. You stay right where you are. Uh, <laughs> as you're standing where you are, you hear the sound of liquid dropping to the ground. Uh, and you turn to see when Nona just like, she is sick as a dog. And she barfing. Has, yeah, she's barfing. And you see Polite Pete just look at you like, that was my favorite shirt. It's fine. I can clean it. It's fine. <laughs> they all take a defensive stance. They're protecting Winona. They don't, unfortunately, like, they don't, you're not priority right now, and you guys seem to be handling it. So that ends the Allies' yep. turn. Getting a little sick of his shit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Gaius, it is so now is your turn. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Winona's really sick of this shit. All right, let's go. Fucking, I'm gonna like football punt the guy's head into the ocean on arm strike. <laughs> you got it. Ten oh, hits. Wow. Ten, Ten hits. hits. Oh, cool. oh yeah, they're not wearing armor. Six bludgeoning. 
Okay. <laughs> you hop, you underhand like like peanut style football kick it, and you hear a splurp in the water far along. The body looks like the arms just kind of slack to the side and look kind of like, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it crosses its arms. It is still alive. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's do it again. Athletic, competing athletics. All right. This time, grapple. um... Bonus action grapple with athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus action grapple. <clears throat> All right. A play of 25. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're fine. They rolled really well, but not well enough. Yeah, you easily kind of keep them in a headlock, even without the head. So Go ahead what? and roll the damage. 1d8. It is 1d8, but it's just the flat roll, no bonus to it. Yes, indeed. Seven. That's seven points of damage. All right, let me roll here. Uh, PC of five. Plus, okay, so that's going to be. Yep, he is dead. Let me flavor this. Yeah, go for it. He folds his arms. I grab both of his arms, rip them off of the shoulder, and stick them in his neck hole. So they're like, sp they're sticking up like fucking Siren Head, and I boot his ass into the water. You got it. You turn around and do like a kick, and you hear a splashing noise as it falls back into the water. It doesn't have arms, so probably no way for it to get back up. And also, it is now dead. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna use my movement. I'm gonna use my movement to get over here to allow Eastcan some flanking. All right, you got it. You have to. You, your hooves kind of slip a little bit on like the the remaining gelatin on the deck of the ship. Um, but you manage to keep your keep yourself postured up as you run across and flank with Eastcan. It's it's like a cat like trying to run on top of like a kitchen tile. It's like a, you ever see that video of that deer going through that children's playground? Oh my god, yep. yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. You just hear the drum breakdown from in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next turn. E it is now your turn as Gaius runs up behind the zombie to give you a flanking position. Seeing the two zombies that are right in front of me and realizing I don't have time to figure out what the heck just happened, I'm going to shift Mira's staff into my other hand, so I'm holding it with both hands, and I'm going to give it a, give the zombie... Uh, in between myself and Gaius, a good thwack. All right, you have plus two to hit. That's an eight. That, I'm mm. not even kidding, just hits. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies, man. Get heck, They're, Zambos. Yep, yeah, you're two-handing this. Six, six, point, points, six of points of bludgeoning. I, All right. I'd like, I'd like to flavor this that I slid into his spine and I arced him for the correct hit right in the side of the head. One As you... Crack. As you trap the zombie guy as Eastcan, you bring up Mira's staff and imagine I'm sorry for the visuals, everybody at home. Imagine taking a baseball bat to like a brick of butter. Like warm butter. Uh, no, Milo Milo Milo, you <laughs> bring up your shield and like protect yourself as just like gelatinized zombie flesh just sprays across, like Gallagher's across the deck of the ship, Humming and the zombie sword. crumples down dead, leaving hey. one remaining. Hey, hey, my, hey, uh, hey, guy, uh, Gaijin. Yeah. Now I am the butter man, the butter <laughs> man, the butter man. I, I, I do the warning flare, and suddenly Guy just has a head of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you staring at me like I'm a piece of meat? All right, Eastcan, it is still your turn. Um, I will maneuver here. Okay, you got it. You maneuver around the other zombie with the staff in your hand. Maneuvers, and that'll be my turn. Because I'm right. not fighting these things. I learned my lesson last time. These look like... I don't even want to describe what these would taste like. Please don't. No, I'm not. Spare the chat for it's this, not this horror. Oh, All yeah, right. Spare the chat. Uh, it is now the zombies' turn. I'm going to roll a d4. If it's a 1 and a 2, it'll go for Gaius. If it's a 3 and a 4, it'll go for E-Scan. It is going to go for E-Scan. Now! Oh, no! Uh, not a good roll. 11? That will miss. Okay. As you spin around, it... <sighs> reaches out towards you, but you manage to block it with the staff as it kind of is now in a struggle with you and the staff at the moment, <clears throat> unable to find purchase. That ends the zombie's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Cool. Uh, really quick, Monty, just so I know, um, 
Would a uh, a skill check, would that be an action or a bonus action? Uh, it depends on the skill check, depending on the situation. If it was if it was medicine. Medicine would be an action for sure. Gotcha. Okay. Well, in that case, um, bring bringing up the emblem glove, flash of bright light drops, and hey, we gotta roll more deck saves, Monty. Sacred okay. flame for one damage. Good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Got on it. Guess what? Strong. He failed. That's a twelve. So he's gonna take one damage. <laughs> you watch as you put your finger. As the as the sacred flame goes off, his ear falls off, like just poof, and like falls off, and the zombie's like and turns towards you. Dude, shining just, finger! You just literally <laughs> did the fucking you did the Faust ultimate from the last Guilty Year game. Amazing. Alright, that and was I'm his gonna, favorite ear. And I'm gonna run up just beside Renoa. So that's Renoa. Or also fucking Did Renoa. I not <laughs> So, also, could I not cut? No, um... Because yeah, they're allies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're allies. Red Jesse's... I think at this point, Red Jesse's an ally. You just saved his life. He just suddenly yeah. swings on you. Surprise! <laughs> oh, shit. Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! It was, all, it, was all, it, was all, it was all a trick. Yeah, easy also, enough. You swing up next to Winona. Uh, and, yeah, she looks terrible. For the record, like, I'm still sick. There were going to be some hiccups coming for me. I apologize. No worries, no worries. I think we, we already told chat, but like a lot of us are ill right now because of uh, for those who are listening on YouTube or perhaps a podcast, and maybe it's a different season. It is currently turning to autumn, and it is with it comes seasonal allergies and all that fun jazz. So cold. That is that is turn for me. Okay, Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Kai is going to stumble into this position. He's going to brush off his right shoulder and then grasp onto his injured left shoulder. He will attempt to pull out his bow and begin putting an arrow in place to fire, but I'm going to ready that action to go off after Eskin's turn because it would take him some time with that messed up arm. You got it. You kind of level the arrow into the bow and kind of take aim. So you're going to hold your action to shoot after Eskin's turn is going to be the trigger for that action. Correct. Okay, good to know. Alrighty, Otho, it is now your turn. I'm gonna look over my shoulder back at Winona. Mm -hmm. Does it? Does her symptoms seem like she's seasick? <clears throat> if you would like to roll a medicine check, you can attempt to discern that. Sure. Medicine. That's what she I'm doing. Can't be seasick. She's on land. Five. Five. You have no idea. She damn, looks ill. Turning. Well, I've got a hunch. <laughs> yeah, damn. She's turning. She has to damn, take it out. Damn, she's turning. He cocks his saber. <laughs> she Shame. she ne she never goes on land for a reason. So Otho's got a hunch. So Otho's got a, a a bit of a wild idea brewing. Throw her in the ocean. <laughs> um. I'm going to look over the side of the deck and see if there are any sharks or anything trying to swim to the surface. Uh, that would require another check. Um, if you want to take your bonus action to do a perception check, sure. like a brief perception check, I'll allow it. Brief perception check as a bonus action. I'll do that. Natural 20. Okay. Um, you don't see sharks, but you do see more shambling corpses that are currently, like, crawling in varying degrees around the rocks. But none of them are, like, swimming to the surface of the ocean or no. anything like that. But these zombies are certainly coming from somewhere, and that somewhere is certainly underwater. Do I do something crazy? No, please. Oh. Hard wipe, and then Otho did something crazy. Cut back. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna lean down. Okay. And I'm going to pick up Miss Odez underneath her arms. Uh, she's currently being held by Polite Pete at the moment, and you've already used your reaction and your bonus action, so unfortunately, <sighs> yeah. Damn it. If she's land sick, I know how to cure that easily. Is all I'll say. Okay. Uh, that ends your turn. 
Sure. Yeah, unfortunately, she's not a willingly wanting to be picked up by you, so unfortunately, that would require a check. Um, if she was willing, it would just be grab her and, you know, throw her like a frisbee, but unfortunately, she is not willing at the moment. Crack Snuckles, okay. Uh, Polite Pete kind of turns and goes, uh, well, I appreciate your willingness to be a team member, and I, I appreciate you being here. I feel like he looks over the side of the boat. That's a bad idea. So that's my turn. Okay. Well, that's your. That's also the allies' turn too. That's what their turn was. Who up? Uh, that okay. brings us to Gaius. Come. Uh, you make might a want murder to move real quick. You got it. Kind of slide him over with a gentle little hoof push. <laughs> Watch out! I'm, I'm I'm about to schmix him up. Let's go. Okay. All right, you flanking plus two. Twenty-three. Oh. That yeah, that fucking hits. Eight bludgeoning. Eight bludgeoning, and I'm assuming you want to go in for another grapple here. You fucking a bet I do. All right. Twenty-five. It doesn't. Damn. They're rolling really good. I just want to point out they're rolling really good on their athletics. It's it doesn't like, matter. It doesn't it's, fucking matter. It's almost like I built myself for this very particular yeah, moment. Yeah, exactly. All Fuck right. Yeah. So grapple check. Go ahead and do that arm strike as your bonus action. Can't Let's stop the goat. Go. One. One. I know hey. your pain. It's all right. I, 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 it's okay. I, I Mo Howard him in the eyes and I hold him in place that way. You, you go for one good solid punch and then you punch off his other ear and he's like, <laughs> like looks really upset as both of his ears. Are what? Off. <laughs> what? <laughs> All righty, that ends your turn, Gaius. That's turn. All right, Eastcan, it is now your turn. Uh, seeing that my goaded friend is uh, currently got this guy locked in place, I'm going to two-hand again with a good thwack to take off this zombie's head, I hope. Okay. Uh, does a 17 hit? Uh, 17 does hit. Cool. Zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you, see, you kind of poke <laughs> him a little bit. It is my curse. <laughs> oh. oh no um, yeah that's all i got <laughs> all right well that means that kai's hell action goes off so kai if you want to shoot your uh bow you may cool 12 12 hits go to roll damage five five piercing not bad you strike this thing in the shoulder between gaius and Eskin, as it seems to still have some some fight in it all right, that ends Eastcan's turn. It is now the zombie's turn. Once again, one, two will be Gaius. Three, four will be Eastcan, because these things are dumb and they don't understand object permanence. Uh, it's gonna go for Gaius. Okay. Uh, that was almost a natural 20, uh, but that is going to be a 19. That hits by one. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> Guess what number is the number of my day today? It's three. You take three right. points of bludgeoning damage. At Son least of... you're doing damage. Now. <laughs> now. You guys are doing damage too. Just less. I hope to God I'm doing damage. <laughs> <laughs> One Alrighty. of us better be. <laughs> Milo, it is now your turn. I will use my action to do a uh, proficient medicine check. Sure. Wow. Okay. Throw Oto under the bus there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm used to it. Uh, Winona is currently afflicted with the poison condition, and she does appear to be essentially seasick. But with that medicine check, you do notice the boat is not bobbing or moving. Um, it is actually perfectly still. So she is, yes, she is land sick, and she looks very fucking unwell. Uh, but for all intents and purposes with the medicine check, she is technically under the poison condition at the moment with some added additional thingies that go along with it. So... She's going to be fine, but she needs to get back out in the waves and not cast overboard. As soon as we mop this up, we need to get this thing back to the ocean. Um, I can't do anything for bonus actions, so that's good for me. All right, that is your turn. That brings us around to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, I'm going to have Kai attempt to load another arrow. So after Eskin's turn, he'll fire. You got it. All right, top of the turn order. Otho, it is now your turn. 
He just lets out, lets out a very frustrated. Who would not at all? So lets out a, a pathetic <laughs> noise. Uh. And he's going to pull out his other dagger, and he's going to likewise flick it at this Zambo. I will say, um, let me see here. As soon as I get a good shot on it. Yeah, you may want to readjust there. Yeah, that, I'll allow that if you want to move one tile over. That'd be good. If not, I think it will move. gain the benefit of a little bit of cover. I'll just move up here, throw my dagger. You got it. 19. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. For nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Is going to be. Ooh. As you strike it, it like slams against the railing and for a moment is still before it <laughs> kind of comes back to life. Unfortunately, it's undead fortitude bringing it back from the brink of death. Time to double tap. Uh, that's all I got. Alrighty. That brings us to the allies' turn. Again, they're all going to hold their action, and Winona's going to vomit again. Oh, boy. Lovely. Yeah. She looks, like, rings under the eyes, and she is, like, lit like you know in comics where, like, the person's green? Mm -hmm. Like, that's her right now. Are you all just going to stand there? Get the bloody ship unstuck! They all look at you and shrug. They're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Push! On what? I am so sorry for yelling. I am so sorry. That was my bad. I'm very <laughs> sorry. Wow. Alrighty. You got polite Pete to yell. I think that deserves a medal, right? Needs a little assertiveness in his life. Gaius, it is now your turn. Uh, I pick up the zombie by the heels and I fucking... I, I put him over my shoulders and then toss and then fucking hammer his face into the side of the deck. You got it. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> 14 hits. No, no, that's not 14. That's a uh, 16. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you're flanking. Then it doesn't right. hit. Head plunging <laughs> it. Okay. Oh, my God. You start just bashing its head on the side of the railing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like it's turning to pace, but it's still clawing towards you. It is still fucking alive. I'm not even kidding. That's impressive. You have strong fighter's legs, but now you must prove yourself with a real challenge. <laughs> Athletics. Okay. Yep, grapple. Go ahead and roll a punch. A true mix of <laughs> like, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're just like, bam, 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 looks at him. Grabs him in a headlock, bam, 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 and it is still fucking nope. alive. I fuck it. That last one, I just slap him. <laughs> <laughs> punch, punch, punch! <laughs> Why won't you die? Alright, you scan it. It's now your turn. Assuming, Gaius, that's the end of yours. That's turn. <laughs> okay. You scan it. It's now your turn. I'm gonna wait for a moment when Gaius has finished slamming the zombie into the deck. Then I'm gonna grab Mira's staff with both hands like a baseball bat, and I'm gonna swing away for his head. You got it. Whoa! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Damn. Even if I hit, I still would have done zero damage. Oh. Eastcan, you so you, you ever like you ever imagine trying to kill a spider with a stick? That's like the exact same sort of motions <laughs> going on right now. And it's like and like and like Winona's crew is just watching this like like this 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 punch and slap fight and like just East Gate going, die, die! Just kind of stabbing with your staff. Uh yeah, it is unaffected entirely, um, as you miss. <sighs> Bosco dismiss with this please. <laughs> please. That ends your turn, East Ken? That's gotta be it. I don't I don't All right. anything else I can Kai, do. Kai, your held action goes off at the end of East Gan's turn. Twenty one. That yeah. hits. <laughs> Go on roll damage. Okay. Roll it, money. You, as there's this, like, you, e scan and Gaius are just, like, full on, just, like, beating the shit out of this zombie. You just fire a shot, hitting its head, and it goes, Ugh. and its undead fortitude does not take hold. As hey! It I have a question. Yes. I would imagine that we overheard them shouting back in the back row, right? Oh, especially Polite Pete and his apology thereafter. 
Poole, uh, I have a plan. Will you let me enact it? Or unless we're still well, doing initiative. We are out of combat now, as the zombies have been handled. Okay. Uh, I, let me just... I have a silly idea I'd like to do. Let me just grab some lovely Indians here. All right. So. As we get out of combat here. As all of you kind of take a breath. Polite Pete goes, okay, good job, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to just... And you watch as he unshoulders Winona, who is just, like, the moment he puts her on the ground, she just, like, goes into, like, sideways fetal position on the boat and is like, uh... <laughs> quick, quick question, Moni. Um, since this is, since I could tell this is obviously seasickness, sickness, would, because of that role, would I know, like, not cures, but ways to kind of, um... Alleviate. Yeah, Alleviate it? Like mints um, or something, <laughs> something natural that could just help her a little bit. Uh, nothing natural you can think of. Uh, lesser restoration would easily handle right. this, though. I, I'll look up to the Minotaur. I'll try and get her back in the bed. She's, it, it's, it's like she's poisoned. It's, it's just like a seasickness. Keep a bucket next to her. Keep her warm. Uh, lots of fluids, water. Keep, keep the alcohol away. The Minotaur blinks at you twice and turns towards Polite Pete and, like, starts speaking in a language you've never heard before. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm not I, exactly a licensed physician, but I know this. I know what I'm talking about. Otho is immediately going down to the lower decks, and he's going to approach Kai. Kai, can you turn the sails so that we can get off of this rock? That's a good question, Mega Man. Uh, can we hear no, that? No, unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I can't do that. That's I'm not uh, strong enough. Uh, Red Jesse actually collects Winona and. Oh, right, your arm's broken. And Jed Lee yeah, just, just slots her inside for now. Uh, Kyle Minotaur goes there. He had a plan, by the way, guys. We're kind of yeah, right guys did have a plan. Let's hear it. I'm going. Gaius will attach the grappling hook to the side of the railing and jump down to the rocks and attempt to shove. Okay. Go ahead and roll an athletics check. So are you, like, swinging and kicking it free? Uh, I'm basically going to use my strength to try and, like, nudge this thing away from the shoreline, but I also, like, the grappling hook is there, so if it does pull away, I can grab it and, like, at least hold on to the side of the ship as it goes off. All right. My Milo's gonna kind of run over the side and just yell down, Guys, do you see any damage? Does anything need fixed before we get out back to sea? Do I see something, or should I just roll the athletics now? Um, you can't really... If there is something, it's probably underwater. On the surface level, you don't see anything. Hang on a second, I'll try and check. Uh, I'll jump into the water over the side and swim under the boat and check for damage. Okay, Woo! as you jump into the water and swim... You see, kind of unable to climb, just a fucking, like, probably about 17 zombies underwater that are just, like, looking up towards the boat at the moment. Just kind of waiting. <laughs> Hello. And as you swim by, they kind of, like, reach up towards you, but can't hit you. You're too far away. But they're like, it's almost like a bunch of crabs underwater, like needing to molt. It's just a bunch of zombies that are just coming crabs out of the murky bucket. depth. Yeah, it's kind of like a bunch of zombies coming out of the murky depths, just kind of standing at the bottom of this kind of section of ocean, just kind of looking up. They Most of them are missing there. limbs. Some of them are just kind of crawling, and, and a lot of them don't seem to have the ability to climb on the rocks, which is why they're underwater. The ones you fought clearly had arms and could climb. Um... But as you look at the whole of the ship, between you and Gaius, I would say, um, you guys notice that the ship itself is wedged between two rocks at the front of the ship. Uh, and as you recall, when you reach this location, uh, unfortunately, due to a, a snafu, um, the ship did kind of grind up against some rocks, and it looks like that's where it's it's fixated at the moment, is in between two rocks. But, but the so... hole itself seems to still be intact. 
The hole appears to be intact. On one side, it looks to be a little bit concave, but it doesn't look like it's going to like sink immediately. It probably might have a little bit of a hole, but it could probably be very easily repaired. Okay. So question uh, above game for you, Monty. Mm -hmm. Is is there any wind whatsoever blowing? There is, but it's like... It feels like... I hate, I hate to say it, but like a token wind. It doesn't seem like a naturally occurring wind. It just seems to be just kind of existing and just kind of gently coaxing the rotting sails of the nearby ship graveyard, essentially, is and not so, doing much it, else. Is, is it enough of a wind that the sails could catch, though? It could, but the ship is not going to... You, the wind itself would probably not dislodge this boat, if that's the question. It's just right. trying no, to no, combine no, no. I'm, all I'm, the things I'm, I'm together. looking to combine yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah, my, yeah. Suggest, my suggestion above game, Gaijin, is because you can create water, if you create water in that specific spot where it's wet, I it'll have slowly raise it out. no slots. Yeah, we are all tapped out. We are tapped. Okay. So, you but I get it. what you're saying. If we can turn the sails to catch what little bit of wind there is... It With just the has to be enough of so guys pushing, pushing, it might yeah. help, is the idea. Especially if you can't create water to lodge it free. Um, East Gun will pop his head out of the surface of the water. It doesn't look like anything's broken, but uh, we got to be careful pushing it out. You might want to check below the decks and make sure we don't pop a hole or anything. Um... Hearing that, Monty, Milo's going to run under, look for any holes, dents, stings, whatever, and we'll have mending at the ready. You got it. You do find a spot where the wood is actually, you can actually see the stone that has uh -oh. lodged itself through the wood. It's not a big hole. It's like maybe the size of like, like a tennis ball at most. It. Yeah. As, as, as soon as I get that fixed, I'm going to pound the hole to try and get Guy's attention and just okay. yell up, okay, Guy's, no! As you attempt to fix it, though, because the stone is in the way, unfortunately, the mending spell does not work because there's currently something occupying the space that would be fixed. And I shall wait until Gaius gets this dislodged and immediately patch it up. You got it. <laughs> All right, give it a go. Oh, right, right. All right, so you hook the grappling hook and you pull. You, like, grip your hooves into the ground and just pull with all your might, but it is, like, stuck. I'm going to find the biggest, most muscular guy I can find. That would be the Minotaur. And Minotaur. there's also the Goliath guy. But they're currently, like, kind of tending to Winona. But the Minotaur does seem to be a little, like, less bedside mannery. They don't. This seems to be very much outside of their purview. They look a little lost. You there. I'll point to the Minotaur. Minotaur turns. I need you to help my friend push the ship. If you we can get onto as... the open sea... Winona will feel better, and we can get out of this God's forsaken place. You watch as the Goliath turns and speaks in a language unknown to you, and the Minotaur turns and kind of nods and stands up and then walks and follows you and kind of gives you, like, okay, I'll, I'm following you, kind of look. Was that language giant? If no, it was means? not. Mm. All right. Uh, then I will I will lead the Minotaur over, and I will point down towards towards uh Gaius and I'll I'll point to the ship and then I'll like what's what's the word I'll I'll just motion with my pantomime. hands pantomime pantomime with my hands pushing with him all right the minotaur kind of jumps down with two hooves next to you Gaius all and right. he will either do you want him to roll or do you want him to assist you uh I think he should assist. Yeah, let him assist. Okay, you will assist you as he shoulders the boat a bit, too. Help me, brother. All right, so 22. Oh, no, that's a 23. 23. As you, both of you, stick your hooves into the ground and both shoulder, it doesn't move. It is stuck on something. Hooked good onto something down below. Damn it. Uh, hang on. Give me one more sec. I'm gonna dip under again and go along the bottom of the boat okay. um, towards the spot where it's wedged on the rock. Yeah, it is like, it is like sandpaper wedged to the rock. 
Uh, that is there... absolutely the source of why it's not moving at all, is because it's like there's a rock kind of it's stuck on. Is there uh, any driftwood nearby? There is lots from the ships, yeah. Uh, Eastman's going to grab a piece of driftwood and try and lodge it in that area where they're stuck. Okay. Uh, and try and time so that he can give it just a little bit of a lift using some just a little bit of leverage. Um, kind of basically like a plank that's down there and he's going to swim downwards, pushing on the free side to kind of give okay. it a little bit of lift while they push. You got it. All right. I need then uh, Gaius to roll that athletic check and then you kind of have to roll your own separate one for that activity. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. I can't wait. 19. Okay. Really good. Ooh. Oh! 18. Well Shit. then, E scan with like your tail like just rotating like a, like an absolute like like just a like a yeah like a like a boat like <laughs> <Propeller. and> you, <laughs> you shove with the large piece of wood and Gaius and the Minotaurs the both of you now push E scan you have to very quickly swim out of the way as the boat immediately sinks into the water and begins to bob and you can feel it kind of jut backwards. You can hear Polypi go, oh, oh, we got, we got it, we got it. And Milo, on cue, the moment it dislodges, just a spout of water begins to fill the area. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. No. I'm, I'm the patching bucket. that. I'm patching that. I'm patching it. <laughs> yeah. As soon as, as soon as it's dislodged, I'm patching it. You kind of, like, very difficultly place your hands over the hole and kind of fight it like, like a fire, like trying to stop a fireman's hose. And a minute passes and... The hole is filled. Oh, all right then. Oh, it's nasty water. Are we all uh, good, Mr. Brightbeam? I think we're okay. How's Winona? Uh, look back towards where she went off to her quarters, I assume. You kind of just peek through the door and currently see, like, the Goliath has, like, got a little towel and is fanning her. <laughs> and, like, Red Jesse is just scratching his head. And you can see her kind of, like, immediately, like, oh. <gasps> Like a sigh of relief, almost, as the ship is now kind of gently bobbing on the water. Uh, Eastcan, as you kind of, you know, celebrate, and Gaius, as you you and the the Minotaur literally lifts up a hand to high five you. Uh, awesome! I high five him back. <laughs> Fuck yeah! He grabs you and throws you onto the boat if you do not. <laughs> <laughs> before he too kind of climbs on the side of the ship and kind of gets on. It is at this point that you begin to see zombies with arms now emerging from the water on the rocks, like about 120 feet away. And like, there's probably about 10 of them. Is the grappling hook still hanging from the side? Yeah, yes it is, it would be. It would be, yeah, but it's easily, it's easily well, collectible. I was gonna say, I'm gonna climb up using it and I'll collect oh, okay, the rope yeah. on my way up. You got it, you kind of climb up on the side and staggering to her feet and kind of like like a like the person with the world's worth worst hangover winona kind of like <laughs> staggers forward uh and kind of leans up against like the door towards the under part and kind of walks over and just like raises her hand and you feel the ship just pull itself backwards almost like a lurching motion as the water itself actually seems to churn and move backwards and polite pete runs to the helm and immediately kind of grabs, and he goes, okay, um, I need the sails here, I need the oars there, and he starts just, like, polite peach first basically starts, like, charging orders as people kind of run on deck, and you guys, I assume, help in some manner. <sighs> yeah, as best we can. I'm, uh, I'm short and will get in the way. I'm gonna be making sure Winona's okay. Yeah, she she's, like, her, the greenness is kind of fading, and she's, like, <sighs> Like, she is sweating. Like, her, her chest, like, her robes are just wet with sweat. And she's just, like, turns down to you and she goes, I fucking hate this place. I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. You need to get back to bed. No. No. My men need me. And we're not out of it yet. I can't control the wind here. What is this place? Uh. We, it, it's probably a cursed place it's a long story but we'll, we'll get out of here i'm i'm literally not gonna leave her side and until she's stable did you get your thing we got the thing we're getting out of here oh thank you god's all right uh, she kind of like leans up against the door frame and slides down to her butt 
And uh, between all of you kind of running about the sails, eventually you just see the far off look of all the zombies on the shoreline just staring out almost longingly and desperately towards the ship that now is floating back out to open sea. Hey, why can't we get a ride? <laughs> That's all we wanted. Then you beat up Joe. What was that about? Yeah, man. Joe was his cool. birthday. <laughs> Pulverized him. <laughs> ripped off Jimmy's arms. It's not cool. The same zombie with, like, the arms for his head is now standing on there, too. <laughs> and the just arms are still crossed. Yeah, the arms are <laughs> still crossed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... I'm going to pull my, uh, my sash off of my waist, and I'm going to approach Kai, and I'm going to sort of make a, a makeshift sling for his arm. Will allow you to do so. You hear a voice call out to you, so hey! Turn over to look to see who it is. Winona's like pointing at you very animatedly. And it's like actually at this point using Milo is kind of like a way to steady yourself. Like she's got her other hand on your head, Milo. And it's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm the perfect height for your table. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's just it's just the the game over screen of Conker's Bad Fur Day, but it's Milo. <laughs> oh god. Nona points an accusatory finger towards you and goes, Were you gonna throw me fucking overboard? Well you wouldn't be land sick if you were on the ocean. I'm not a fucking fish. <laughs> I know that. But I've seen you perform that. feats such as being able to stand on the ocean's waves, and I figured if you were not moored on your ship, that you would be at liberty to cast your spells like you usually do. God, God you're so dumb. Uh, uh, as, as they're going back and forth, Kai is going to use Otho to get back up to his feet. Enough! Hey, Pete, on the wheel. Hard to pour would clear the rocks. Everybody else on the lines. Ow. Once we get out of the fucking shadows of this place, maybe my powers will come back. You should probably rest. I'll make sure we don't hit anything till you're able to come back. Roll a persuasion check on that one. Uh, go, dude, Mark. go. Go, dude, go. Twelve. Okay, it meets, it beats. Fine. And she just, like, takes two steps and then falls to the ground. I will try to catch her. <laughs> yeah. Kai, Kai is also going to fall to the ground, but against the side of the boat. I just had the vision of her just being like, fine, two steps. And then in a two frame shot, she's suddenly face down on the ground. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Family guy polite, polite Peter's <laughs> holding helmet goes, well, I'm having a great time with everyone. So if, he does what he orders and turns the turns the helm. If if she lets me money, I'm gonna watch over her and, and right. nurse her until she's better. She's very much like go away, Farah. <laughs> she's like clearly still sick, but it's like no, go away. No, I don't go away. I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be the stubborn nurse. Okay, who's who has the orb out of curiosity? Who collected it? Kai does. Kai does. Kai has it. Okay. It's what do you backpack. have it in at the moment? It's in your backpack. Okay. A backpack. Correct. Did you touch it? I uh, he did. Okay. Did you taste it? Yeah, did you taste it, uh, though? Did it taste like lime? No, he actually, he held it for quite a while, if that means anything. Uh, can I get a charisma saving throw from you? You sure oh, can. Fuck. That's why I put mine in a pillowcase. <laughs> it's a nine. Okay. Alrighty. So, as you guys sail out, at this point, it's, like, starting to get, like, kind of dark outside like for a while it feels like it's just the oppressive overcast but it's actually like you do see a uh kind of a very beautiful sort of yellowy like sunset red sea how is the current state of things at this point the crew seems to be kind of like a little bit like not not rattled but just like Jesus, okay. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, that was the thing. Like, Winona oof. is just sleeping and is, like, okay. snoring loudly and does not look sick anymore. Cool. Um, can I have a moment with Iskan? 
I mean, yeah, you guys have time. I mean, okay. it's just the ship is just sailing, so whatever conversations you wish to have, go ahead. Would you say uh, this would be at sunset or after sunset? I kind of want it to be sunset because it would be very thematic. <laughs> okay. It's more romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, um, Iskan, um, I saw what you did back there at, the, at that fight. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, uh, I didn't either. Are, are you somehow blessed by the sun? I don't think so. I'm not really sure what happened. I, I was trying to do my ice spell like I always do, but I don't know. It, it felt like I couldn't. Like, I couldn't reach it. And then... Something connected, and I thought that was it. But it clearly wasn't. So I don't know what I connected to. Did you feel anything else? Anything took at you? Uh, yeah. It's kind of like before I had the staff. Like a... Like a hook coming from the sky, just kind of pulling up at me a little bit. It's interesting. I wonder. I, I, I'm pretty well versed with Ilene, considering she's cousin material, I I, I would say right. so, yes. You wouldn't know the depths of the religion, but you would know at least the generalization right. of it. Yeah. It's interesting. I wonder if uh, Ilene's got an eye out for you. Uh, maybe. It's funny, I was kind of just talking about that with Winona the other night. Really? What'd you talk about? Uh, we talked about, you know, how the sky and uh, the, the stars, the night sky and the ocean are connected. How they're right. friends, constantly trying to reach out for each other. It's interesting. It, it, it It's really interesting, because it's like, you know, Oren and Ilne, they're, they're like, they're, they're, they're like cousins. Not directly related, of course, but it, it's, it's like they got kind of the same job. But Ilne watches over the night, tries to bring peace and quiet and light and her own way. You would That's... know as well, Milo, that Ilene is about clarity. Mm. Clarity of self and clarity of mind and clarity and just in general. So, I I don't know. I, I Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> I guess it just got me excited to see that. Uh, made me wonder if maybe you're a little bit more like me than I thought. Maybe not in a religious sense, but... There's more than one way of, you know, working with the natural state of things, the elements. It's more than just worship and religion. Can I... Can I tell you something? Oh, sure. You know how we talked about this before, how it always used to scare me, how it felt like I was being pulled away, and I really... You know, made me anxious. Uh, right, right. It didn't feel like that this time. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't scared. It just, it, it was there. And so I reached for it. It was really different this time. Well, it's got a big stupid grin. <laughs> that's good, that's good. That, that, that means it's, it's not only coming naturally to you, but it feels right. Remember, when we talked about this before, I, I told you that it just felt right, you know? Yeah, I didn't really get it back then, but I think I kind of do now. Well, that's great! Just, uh, don't do anything, you know, too dangerous. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm doing, but... I mean, yeah. to be to be fair, I don't know what really I'm doing that much either. I've got guidance, but, um... 
Every, every day is a bit of a challenge. I could use a little bit of that. If we find the time, would you like to go to a temple of Ilne and maybe ask some questions? He kind of looks at you for a moment and he looks out uh, across the ocean back in the direction of where the continent is. Uh, and he looks back at you. Uh, I, I guess. Well, it's okay. No, no pressure. I just... If things are happening to you and, and you're not sure why, I, I can take some wild guesses, but that's probably the best place I could suggest. I mean, if, if, if they've got answers, I kind of want to hear them, so... All right, well, when we get some time, we'll make that happen. He, he, holds, out, he holds out his hand, and, and that's a promise coming from me. He'll reach out and clasp it with you. Yeah, do a little Thanks. shake. Okay. No problem. Anybody else want to do anything on the deck of the ship? Gaius? Gaius Otho, is... Kai? Oh. No, go ahead. I mean, I'm not really doing much. Gaius is just like... Gaius is standing at the very, like, the, the end of the... Not at the... Uh, yeah, at the very uh, tip of the ship, looking out towards, like, their destination. Just kind of, like, standing there, arms folded, very tall, with a elated look on his face almost like there's a bit of pride and his tail is wagging so is it, if anyone cap, are, are you what? captain morganing posing are you you want <laughs> one leg up on the on the on the sure why not but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah we, we can have that but the main focal point here is that gaius looks like he's like he's very proud or like he's actually like he's like at ease or at peace but it's a prideful ease Take that as you will. Otho, Kai? Otho would probably... Uh, once once he got Kai's arm tended to, he'd, he'd probably approach Milo for that, just asking him to heal him a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit tapped. Um, all I've really got is my... um. It's got a healer's kit. I don't think it's gonna do too much. L L I understand. We're we're safe. Let's just we can try to sleep it off. And if worse comes to worse, then tomorrow I can I can give a healing session. Polite Pete actually kind of goes goes. We can take care of things now. If you guys have, you you know what you guys work very hard, and I know I speak for all of us when I say we appreciate your hard work. I mean, it's only fair because you know we. Had to take her chip into the sea dragon's bones and almost got destroyed and almost died to zombies, but um, it's okay. We can we can handle it here. All right. I think I'll go get some shut eye. I'm I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Everyone else, you Otho in bed? Will, Otho will look for like a random shore to occupy himself. Oh, trust me, mopping is in high demand right now. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll just grab a mop and start going to town. Is the brew thinking? Helping? Uh, yeah, the brew is very enthusiastically helping. The moment you like open one of the doors to get a like a mop, it is unleashed upon the deck of the ship and just starts going absolutely ballistic. Uh, All right, you guys all will definitely sleep. But uh, he's gonna he's gonna sleep kind of propped up on the mast, um, sort of sitting position. He's still gonna sleep, but just up on the deck. Okay. All right. So you guys all rest uh, for the evening. Kai is Kai is gonna stay awake all night because he told Winona he was gonna watch out, but he's gonna go up to her perch. Okay. You go up to the crow's and, nest. And keep watch. Yep. You got it. But he will stay awake. Okay. Alrighty. Those who sleep, go ahead and write off a full rest. Uh, Kai, you have a point of exhaustion. Got it. Mark for those who sleep, well. for those who sleep that night. Uh huh. It's strange. 
there's almost this feeling at one point of the sensation you had when the Ash Plague was brought to Eastern Vale. Like a difficulty breathing for a brief moment, but you awaken and you fully rest. But as you awaken, there's almost a strange feeling. Like a lingering? Light, like an atmos- like a sort of atmospheric feeling. Is it- is it actual morning? It is, yes, at this point. And actually, this is an ideal place to take a break. Oh boy! Yay! Do -do -do. I'm gonna go refill my beverage. I gotta use the bathroom real bad. Well, welcome into the Bosco Halftime Show, everybody. What up? Soon to, soon to become the Bosco Full-Time Show. Also, what? hold on. Gaijin, are you... Oh, did Gaijin leave? Gaijin left. Okay, I, I gotta... No. It, Gaijin, it left I gotta... Later. Before, before I run, someone... Someone drew Milo Coggers. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I saw that. I'm, nice. I'll post yeah, it. Yeah, Darky Arts. Did you post it? No, I will in a second. Yeah, please post that in memes. Gaijin has to see that. Uh, right, I will be right back. It's going good. Everybody seems to be having a good time. Yeah. Again, if you're if you're in Florida right now, please be careful. Also, I'm glad that you somehow have internet. Hunter bits, Bosco. I just want you to know that we all love you. Ah, well, thank you. Your checks in the mail. I appreciate it. That was a, that was well timed. That was exactly when I wanted that. Also, I got a shake on my arm because I've been <laughs> holding it in a sling position for the last 30 minutes uh were you method acting that whole time i was nice the drifter of time and space thank you for the 50 dollar cheer Damn. appreciate that and bubba bob thank you for the ten thousand bits i turned 30 last sunday fuck anyways here's my birthday bits oh you're fine i promise you you're fine uh dragon so thank you for the 250 bits Damn, land sickness. I am spite. Thank you for the bits. Rest in peace, Coolio. Oh yeah, that too. Oh Man, yeah, that happened. A, today's been a day. The only good news that I've seen today is they might have found a treatment for Alzheimer's for the first time in decades. That's really effective. Yeah, that's was really it? exciting. They 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 found out it was an autoimmune disease instead of a neurological disease. Well, what? So there is a drug that is currently being tested that is proved to potentially slow the degenerative properties yeah, yeah. of alzheimer's by like 27 percent, which there hasn't been a significant development on that particular disease in a while so that's at least the one piece of good news that i've seen is they're testing that and if it holds up that would be amazing for a lot of people that have early stage alzheimer's that would be sick so hopefully it holds up hopefully they can confirm the data because we believe in science here uh, adv uh advocate devil thank you for the 200 bits episode title dead in the water boy i hope not No, that Zen. There's good method acting, and then there's bad method. I'm not a fan of method acting. I think some people take it way too damn far. You have to act like you're jogged a mile. Well, then I'm gonna jog a mile. That's not acting anymore. No, you're you're just doing you're just it. You're tired. Then that's it, not. It, you're not pretending. Yeah, it's not pretend exhaustion. That's real exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can run a mile and be fucking tired. Uh, Burn out. Thank you for the hundred bits. Furiously begins trying to work on the death pool odds. For next week and be surprised how many people want to keep their bets the same sorry thero mark and sigh uh we've got dusk ninja kenji with 200 bits finished fan art of gaius now i'm gonna work on fan art of the rest of the crew in different art styles very self-conscious because i do not make fan art much oh did you now where did you post it so i can see this is true where did you Big post where, where, did you tag zero? where explain where did you post uh, Gorilla with a Glock with 1,050 bits. Oi, Gov, I was away for the intro. Are the October Goon Squads coming? Also, nice. Yeah, fuck Alzheimer's. Uh, yes, all of your favorites are coming back. Ravenloft and Gov-tober. Bubba Bob with another 400 bits. By the way, for those who can't donate bits on your computer, it still works on the phone. 
Good to know. Morthrend Earth uh, with the 100 bits. Can't wait to see the Ravenloft party again. In the meantime, I must go to bed. See you in the VOD. See you in the VOD. God, thank you for the bits. Hey, everyone, love this session, and I want to make you guys laugh every time a blue dragon does its lightning breath. It screams, Kachow, I hate you. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's the Garfield pointing... Gaius image, by the way, which I fucking love to pieces. Noise. Pointed, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the dollar donation. Dusk Ninja, thank you so much for the 100 bits. It's on Twitter, Zito. Yes, I'm looking at it right now. It's also in our Discord. Gaius, hey, not one of Gaius's finer moments. Yeah, Protoss with the 100 bits. Bosco beat D&D &D player. Would Kai read one of those adventuring books that tell him to go to page something? I suppose those tip those books that I've noticed are typically a much lower level of reading comprehension. So I don't know if they would hold his interest very much. They're, they're not the most depth inducing stories there's, but yeah maybe there's a really cool series called the lone i think it's called the lone wolf series which is literally single person D, &D where it's like that but you have like a Whoa. character sheet and like abilities you choose and you go through the adventure oh, which is cool. really cool hmm. the problem is it's really hard to get the books i had to order the first one from ireland like from the publisher in ireland <laughs> because on amazon it's like 200 dollars for the first book and for some reason, they don't have another way to get it. But it's really cool. It's a really, really cool mm. book. Um, also, I was going to uh, mention, I didn't yep. say it when we started, but I actually have been uploading um, the concept art from the Ocean Lords on my Twitter account, actually. Saw that. Yeah, where you can see basically right. my shitty sketch. And then Zeus, uh, Zeus draws significantly better art. <laughs> uh, so far, I uploaded Winona and Oslomir Harland. Um leaving Coleco and Gusbrand, um, which I think, uh, I think in particular Gusbrand is my favorite, just in terms of my sketch. Um, but uh, yeah, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you can you can see that there. I also posted it on our Discord. So if you guys haven't joined our Discord, you should, because we got a Discord. You it's really should join the stuff. Discord. Yeah. Join in for the there's bingo cool fun. There's a bingo join, card. There's bingo. There's a bingo card. There's Q&As that happen randomly on there. A lot of us interact with the chat when we're not playing. We'll go into like the what's happened recently thing and be like, hey, thanks for noticing mm -hmm. this thing that we did mm -hmm. that most people missed. Uh, the Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the $5 donation. Going to see you all in the VODs. Much love from a courier. Good luck with all you do. And Protoss, also, thank you for the 5 bits. Bosco. Yep. Gaijin looking memes, by the way. If you I already. saw. God damn it's it, Darcy. So, it's so good. Puggers. Oh God! Um, yeah. There was a, there was a really really good Photoshop in there too. Um, Gotta get a pop wanna... tart. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Oh, piss off! Uh, VN cleric of the aspects. Thank thank you for the Photoshop. That was actually very yeah. Good. The Photoshop was also very excellent. Shout out to the Unfigables meme channel. Always being fire. We love you guys. Milo's the freaking game over screen. Zenlita did it. But no, Dark Yards. Thank you so. That that turnaround time was insane. I believe I believe the bingo card is announced. When is the bingo card announced? It's announced normally like the day before. They'll actually day they're, of, they're taking suggestions. Right? Yeah, they take the suggestions from the community a couple days before and then they build the card for the day. I I'd love to give a suggestion, but like that's a spoiler and I'm like, damn it. Curses. I'm back with Cherry. You can give non spoilery suggestions, Monty. I could, I guess. You could be like, I think one of the players might do this, so I'm going to suggest it as a thing for the bingo card. Because you don't know what we're going to do. You only know what you've planned. Yeah. And if we've taught you anything, Dude, it's that gonna, we never do I'm what not going to lie. Planned. I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. Some days it's just like, well, it's what Boy, happened, isn't that a mood. Speaking yeah. of moods, I am spite with 100 bits. Would Master Pointy Hat hate Winona? I think they would have disagreements on the way that they conduct their magical business. But beyond I think that, who knows? I think Winona would fucking hate him. <laughs> like, without a doubt, she would absolutely all... hate him. Um, but he would be half and half with her. Because one, call one her hand, a cheater. He, yeah, he'd call her a cheater. But she is magical. Her magical prowess is rather impressive. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. There's that element. Bag of holding. Thank you for the tier one sub. 30 months. What's next? 31? Actually, yes. Funny you should mention that. Blood Ooh. Bank. Thank you for the thousand bits. Miss Orktober. But I understand why it ain't happening. Can't wait for gobs and scary stuff. Yeah, man. 
Seriously. <laughs> one, day, one day. One day it's going to happen. The Atom Bomb, thank you for the 300 bits. Have some undead bits. I am ready for Ravenloft. I am getting ready to play in it myself as a HP Lovecraft did Old One Warlock who serves Yug... Yogg-Sothoth. Yogg uh, yeah, that. Yogg-Sothoth. Yogg-Sothoth. Yep. Be you're gone, you're not wrong. That's exactly how it's said. <laughs> All right. It's pronounced as it is spelt. That is a name. For, for a second, I was like, Yggdrasil? No, there's no none of those letters is, are in there. Is everybody back? Mm-hmm. Connor? I'm here. I'm back. I, I mean, the Klondike bar. I hailed right. a neutral. Get to keep going? Myself. All right. Sweet. You impaled a uh, Klondike bar? That's crazy. Inhaled, but sure. But a piece. That's crazy, man. What would you do I for it? I can't believe you impaled it. <clears throat> crab. You'd crab. What would you do well, for a crab? crab? Yeah, that's, that's the version <laughs> I'm aware of. I told Connor, I remember telling Connor, I was just like, I would do anything for crab. I would kill a man for crab. And like Connor did a video of the Klondike bar. It's like, what would you do for a crab? For a bar? crab. <laughs> oh, and it absolutely kills me. Also, if you're, have that video. Lovecraft, if you're a fan of HP Lovecraft, Adam Bomb, you should play in a Cthulhu campaign. I think you'd enjoy uh -huh. that. And it's also, right. Monty, everyone, hope, everyone. The, hope, hope in the... Monty, real quick, hope in the Discord says that all of the suggestions are anonymous, so they wouldn't even know if it was you if you submitted. Oh, you shouldn't have told yeah, me so that. You can submit whatever you want. <laughs> Imagine if I submitted something crazy, like something absolutely insane. When we come they back to the very first bingo really card, it's just going to be nothing but Monty's suggestion. Alrighty. You guys good to keep going? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. I all guess right. so. So, as dawn dawns, it is a very nice, very clear sky gate. Uh, oh my god, clear, clear sky, sky gate. Gay. Let's go! <laughs> Yay! Oh, let's go! You'll love to see it. Aspa. <laughs> All right. Um, it is a very clear I don't know, sky what's with you? day. Thank you. Um, but there is surprisingly a wind localized entirely in your sails. As you see, Winona currently standing beneath the sails, pushing them. Can Monty? I see it? May I see it? May I see it? <laughs> yeah, you no. do. She's her name is Winona. She's standing <laughs> on the deck of the it? ship. Holy fuck. She's currently <laughs> commanding the wind. No, mother, it's just the sea wind. <laughs> but yes, as you all awaken the next day, there's almost like a strange feeling. It's it's not nothing it's something that like like stands out to you, but it's like it's huh? off. It's like it's like it's like when you watch a movie and you realize it's Canadian, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't! <laughs> oh, that always takes like five or so minutes. I mean, I, the only way I could tell it's made, if it's a Canadian piece of media, is that everyone's wearing denim everything. Denim and plaid, yeah. It's like realizing you're watching Doom House. Uh, Milo's gonna go to Kai. Hey, on uh... Kai. I'm in the I'm in the crow's nest. Are you just gonna call out to me? Or you're gonna call. Hey, out Koi! <laughs> Looks over the side. There we go. Projection. <laughs> hey, could you come down here for a second? The guy in the sling. You want to come? Sure, he'll come down. How did you even get up there? there? He'll come all the way down. He'll come all the way down just for you, Milo. I like to think we're friends enough that you do that. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Guy falls. Fucked up arm and all. He'll just come down, didn't sleep it, last just, night. Just, just jumps out gets... the window like Chris in that one episode just, of Family I'll just, Guy. Ethan Winters one, I'll Ethan Winters one hand grab the ladder all the way down. Damn. <laughs> oh, <Nice>. Yeah. <laughs> Badass. That's what, I, that's what I call an action man. <laughs> all right. Um, is, is, are you down? <laughs> yes, we will fast okay. forward. Okay. He's down to be down, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm down uh, the clown. Koi, do, do you still have the bead? Uh, yeah, it's in my backpack. I don't need to touch it or anything, but can I see it? Yeah, hang on. Uh, he's gonna put the bag down and pull it out for him. Uh, don't touch it, don't touch it! Too late, he already did it. Uh, Money, does it still look the same? It looks similar to the, the one that you got from Mira, yeah. It's bigger. This one's actually physically a bit larger. It, it hasn't changed. Like, it's not doing anything that I haven't seen before, ha is it? I mean, you hid the other one when you got it. Like, you didn't really keep it out, but it seems it's an orb. I mean, we, we have, well, I mean, 
is it is it acting any different than when we literally saw this one just yesterday? Um, <laughs> not to your knowledge. Okay. I mean, it does have a switchblade on it or something. It, it looks like an orb. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make too much noise here. Got ghouly eyes and a, and a fucking switchblade and a polar <laughs> hat cool. and a flat top. <laughs> Mr. Potato Orb. Oh my god. <laughs> He's put on his angry eyes. Uh, uh, Alright. I just. I got a really bad feeling. I, I, I guess everything's fine. Just. I wasn't sure. I, I try not to touch it, like, with their hands or anything. We don't know no, what it's yeah, capable I'll, I'll of. I'll put it away. Sure. He'll put it back with okay. his hands. I mean, that's, he has to put it back with his hands, yes. Oh. He, was hold, he was holding it in his hand, so he just back in the back in the backpack. Oh, Milo's wincing so hard. <laughs> all right, just if you feel anything weird, just let me know, all right? You know, I, I have had a strange craving for flesh in my life. He's going to cock an eyebrow and smile at you a bit. All right, you, you're sitting here making jokes, but we... We are dealing with, with Necrecta here. Brain. All right, all right, fine, you're fine. Uh, don't go climbing up that rigging with a busted arm like that. Why? The other one works. Well, I mean, what happens if you, you fall and the other one breaks? Then you can't do anything. The so, idea. Par for the course. <sighs> Koi, just get some rest, please. I will. Now that Winota's back on the deck, I can relax a little bit. <sighs> get some sleep. Great, I can relax too. I trust you, Kai. But if things start getting weird, I might ask if I could hang on to the bead. Whatever you like, Milo. You just let me know. I'm gonna. I really want to incite you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to if you Here really want to. If I may. Insight. Yeah. What are you looking for? Sarcasm, um, rudeness. You don't even need to roll for that. He's absolutely being sarcastic. Well, sure, but it's like, is it spiteful, hurt, angry? Sure. Go for that, it. There's a lot. Okay, I was, about, I was about to say, there's a yeah, lot of emotions it. there. Yeah, I thought you meant everything. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, they, all of them. <laughs> the entire rainbow of spite. You've become hatred incarnate. <laughs> He's a Sith now. <laughs> He is a <laughs> Sith. <laughs> 13. Oh, spite. 13? Uh -huh. You can't pinpoint which one it is, but it seems like a combination of all the stuff that you mentioned previously. <sighs> Kai, look, I know we haven't really seen eye to eye, and I don't know if that's ever going to continue, but I care. I care about you, all right? Well, I, I think you said it best, where we really have to think about people you know, bigger than ourselves. Like, we have to focus on, like, the bigger picture. So I'm just, you know, focused on that. We have to help Isenvale. Is that more sarcasm, or...? <laughs> it seems like a mix of both. It's genuine, but it's very much worded in a sarcastic way. All right. Fine, then. Just take care of yourself. And he'll just walk away. You scan. Yes. Your passive perception is 17? Uh, 21. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. And Sorry for underestimating you. I think yeah, I just thought I just of a really different person. I really need person's... you to get that number right. It's them, it's yeah, them apologies. Like it's them goggles, man. Yeah. <laughs> they give me the 360 no scope vision. Literally. <laughs> Dino, like... can you use athletics? Yes, I can. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Oh! Different <laughs> <laughs> e-scan. E-scan, e-scan, what do you see? Oh! Everything. E-scan? Yes. You get the weird feeling that you're being watched. Can I pinpoint from where? You kind of look around the deck and, you know, you see Polite Pete manning the helm. You see Winona kind of pushing the sails. And you see your companions currently around the deck doing their various activities. But no one's looking at you. And yet you feel like you're being watched. I'm going to 
go up to Otho. Uh, hey, Otho? Yes. I... And he's gonna kind of lean in closer. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I, I feel like I'm being watched. Do you have any kind he... of sense like that? He's just sort of idly mopping, and he... He doesn't stop, but he looks around at everyone else and just does pretty much the same thing that he just did. Not that I've noticed. Why? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't place where it's coming from. Just keep your eyes out. I will do. Now I'll, I'll keep trying to see if I can find the source. If if there's sure. an active perception I can do, go I for can it. Do that. It's probably gonna be worse, but I'm gonna give it a try. Ooh, twenty-five. <sighs> You kind of pace around the ship and look around, like, you know, look in barrels and stuff like that, and just kind of, like, pace about, and, like, no one's looking at you, but you just feel eyes on the back of your neck. Is he, is he being subtle about this looking about? Uh, he's trying to, but, I mean, he's definitely looking for something. I'd like to do a thing, but if anyone else would like to do a thing, go go ahead. Oh, okay then. <laughs> my, 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 Milo's just gonna be looking at you really quizzically. He's gonna. Did you lose something? Uh, no. No, I, uh. Kinda just. Uh, he scratches the back of his head. I get the feeling I'm being watched, but I can't. Figure out from where. Well, that's weird. Really weird. Do you think it might be magical? How would you tell? I mean, I wouldn't know. I mean, the best thing I could do, I could look for a magical source. That's the best I can do. I mean, magic does some weird things. I mean, we, we both saw that. I could give it a try. Um, I've looked all over, so you might guess. All, right, well, all right, well, you know what? Let's get everyone together. I, actually, do this for me. Go gather everyone up. I'm going to channel out, say, uh, detect magic. By the time you get everyone, it should be ready. And we could go looking about, see if there's anything that's watching us magically. To the best of my abilities, anyway. So are you ritual casting or are you? Yeah, I was casting? gonna. I was gonna ritual cast, and I I, I want to get everyone in on this so we can all have okay. a nice miniature Scooby Doo adventure. That will take ten minutes. So. Yeah. Did okay. you did you mean just our party or did you mean everyone on the show? Probably just our party because everyone else has got to work and I don't want to spook anyone okay. else. <laughs> gotcha. Then uh, Iskun will go around and kind of collect everybody. Okay. Make it a group problem instead of an individual problem. <laughs> And as this is happening, Milo, you're, ca you're ritual casting uh -huh. magic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eastgun's going to go get everyone. I'm sitting down and getting that done. Okay. As you are cast, well, as you are ritual casting detect magic, Eastgun, you get that feeling goes away after about seven minutes. Okay. Uh, when we've collected everybody together and heading back to Milo, uh, I'll say... Uh, the feeling's kind of gone away. Has it? Yeah. All right. Might be... Might be good to be thorough, though. To clarify, Monty, if I... Going... Whether I was up on the deck or down below, it, the, the sensation didn't change until it just went away. The sensation kind of went away when you went up below deck, but above deck you could definitely feel a weird feeling. And like but seven, now it's just completely gone. Now it's completely gone, yeah. Okay. About seven minutes after Milo started casting or ritual casting his spell. Like, it, it weakened a little bit when I was down below decks, but now it's just gone completely. Well, I, I'm still going to go do a sweep. 
Um, I guess we should all just be careful. We don't yeah. know what we're dealing with 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 these pearls, so or these beads, beads, pearls, round Both. gem things. <laughs> um, when bad is pearl, when good is bead. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, just above game, and it it can just pass without a, without anything happen if such is the case. Milo is gonna go around and and with with the tech magic on and just check above deck, yeah. below deck. Probably not up in the rigging because that would be silly. Um, yeah, no. You you detect uh, the broom, obviously, the magic items you collected from the dungeon, mm -hmm. um, as well as kind of just Winona in general. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you don't find anything out of the ordinary. And, of course, the orb itself is just, like, just fucking emanating necrotic right. likeness. All right, I don't sense anything, but if any of you see anything, hear anything... Let's all get back together. I, I don't like having that thing with us as much as we can. Yeah, I'll let you know if I feel it again. Otho, Kai, you gonna be all right? I believe so. Gaius, you, you gonna be all right? Gaius looks like he hasn't slept at all and he opens his, he pulls his face from his book. I'm good. Maybe, maybe you can call you to get some sleep. All yeah. right then. Um, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that. I just, I just want to make sure keep everyone safe. All right. So unless anyone has anything else to do, today's day of travel goes unabated. Okay. Hooray. Uh, do we need to ration, or can I fish, or is food provided? There is food provided, but if you do want to fish, you can. Sure, let's do it. Uh, he hop. That's a oh. natural 20. Okay. Also, can guys be there with me? Because I did make a point that I wanted him there next time you I fish. told me to go to sleep, you fool. This is all your own doing. You. I'll, I'll be with you for support. Okay, I just, I just, you know, I'm small. I don't want to get eaten by a giant fish. Uh, Milo, as you fish off the side of the boat, there's like a moment of like, it takes a long time, but then you feel like something really heavy on the line, like something really big, and you're like, oh shit, you kind of, you, you know, you pull in the rod and you kind of begin to reel it in, and then there's sort of like a weird sensation of something snapping, mm -hmm. and for a second you think it's the line, but as you draw uh, the line in, you bring in a moving arm. Oh, all right. Um, does it look zombified? It is a zombie's arm that is currently like scraping on the top deck of the ship. Eat an arm fish. I, I don't think we want to eat that. You better throw it back. Uh, I'm gonna nuke it, money with sacred flame to make oh, sure yeah. it's dead. You sear it from from the deck of the ship. Um, or that works too, I guess. It didn't have anything, did it? No, it was just an arm with a bone sticking out the other end. Man, that was a nat twenty pull. <laughs> mm -hmm. You did. Wow, I did it. No food for anyone. Okay, you're doing great. Wait, you got the wait, highly wait. You, you, you basically just pulled the highly and wait, wait, wait. You got the guy's hat. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Legit, like legit. Seriously, hold on. Uh. Hey, uh, Milo? Yeah? Maybe we should look under the boat. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. There, we, we may have something... We may have some unwanted passengers stuck to us. Who's who's doing the... Who, who's at the helm? Uh, Plate Pete. Oh, wait, this is at the helm. Oh. Hey, Pete, is there some way we could stop for just a moment? We may have some, some uh, stowaways. Oh, he turns towards Winona, and Winona turns goes to you, and she kind of pulls her hands in, and the wind kind of stops. The boat still floats, uh, but he turns, he goes, do we want to anchor, or just no, slow things th down? I don't think we need to anchor. Uh, Iskan, could you go check it out? You're yeah, the most capable. Uh, just, just give me a quick minute. Uh, be ready to help me if I scream for help. <laughs> oh, here, here, here. We're going to do this. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna tie the the 50 feet of of Roddy rope because uh, it still mm -hmm. works. 
Um, you are always I'm wrapping me in robe. this gross robe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It just I thought we were words. friends. <laughs> All right, look, just give me two hard tugs if you're in trouble. Got um, it. Uh, everyone else, if, if someone else could help me, I, I'm not exactly the strongest. Looks to the party. Very well. I suppose right. that's uh, me, one with a non-broken arm. I'll be quick. And I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna dive in, but I'm gonna try and stay as close to the surface as possible. Um, okay. Maybe a little ways away from the boat so that if anything's hanging on, it won't grab at me. And you I'm gonna it. just do a lap around the boat and make sure there aren't any zombies hanging on. You swim around the boat, you know, carefully checking with your goggles and like looking at the rudder and looking at the bottom, seeing the patched hole, the big scrape mark from the rocks, and yeah, you don't see anything. No stowaways in the outer part of the ship. Uh, and obviously, visibility into the depths of the ocean isn't very far, but it for fades. the most part, it's it just looks pretty... clear. It's a pretty clear ocean, but yeah, of course, with the with the more water, the more the distance kind of you know is betrayed. Right. All right, I'll surface again and motion for them to help pull me up. Uh, we'll and then back on deck. It doesn't look like anything's down there. That's the weirdest thing. Uh, also, just maybe be on the lookout. You and you and Kai, I, I don't know how in the world I got a zombie arm if there's nothing else under, but I, I don't know. I thought it might explain that that sensation of being watched I had earlier, but I guess not. Maybe I mean, it's just a... Oh, go ahead. Maybe the ocean was just giving you a hand. Gaius, <sighs> come on now. <laughs> the the come entire on now, cast just <laughs> face palms. Gaius the fucking zombies back on the island face palm. <laughs> <laughs> if the hand was still around, it would face palm the deck. I imagine Winona one zombie just face palms and his arm comes off. Palms. You guys like feel a jolt as Winona just goes, oh, and then immediately makes the wind start moving again. I can make jokes too. <clears throat> well, guys, I, I like your joke. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for at least letting us check. Yeah, of course. I mean, you have this vessel until we hit land, so I'm sure all's every, fair. I'm sure everyone saw me yank the the arm up and then just nuke it. <laughs> yeah, we're all aware. I mean, Winona didn't see it. She was kind of focused on other things, and so it was actually as long as just the party saw it. All right, well, Pete is manning the helm, and Winona was you know focusing on the wind. So I will I will relay to Winona what happened. Wait, you pulled up an arm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought maybe there was a zombie stuck on the bottom of the boat, but I just pulled up a zombie arm. Fade and Fuldus mentioned that the waters right now are teeming with undead. Specifically undead that is, well, walking about the bottom of the ocean. Right, but we're way above the bottom, aren't we? I mean, it varies. All right, maybe... Still, she kind of takes a hand to her chin. Chances of that are pretty. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, me and me and some of the other guys, we, we weren't feeling too good. Like something was holding over us, and and then Iskan said that he felt like something was watching him until I started trying to find it magically. Well, you either have cabin fever or you're crazy. I'm joking. That was that was a joke. Okay, I I wasn't I wasn't sure. It just random zombie arm and and I don't know. I, I we should just be careful. She kind of looks towards Otho and Kai and goes, "What do you make of it?" Is she talking to us or is she just? Yeah, she to is. Us? Oh. Just. I will look to Otho. Well, I've been giving it some thought. And perhaps it's not as crazy as we may think. I'm not sure what the extent of magic capability is quite capable of if we're being spied on. 
but... And... Pardon the pun here, we are... Making waves with this. Eason Vale is healing, and the thing that hurt it in the first place is bound to take notice of that. Wouldn't you agree? That makes sense. How about a scouting mission? Scouting what? Underwater. Um, uh, that might be a good idea if you've got the method of letting us do that. I think I do. How many? Uh, yep. I, I want to go down there and see undead Sebastian doing under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah, I can do six of us. Eating your soul. <laughs> she looks towards all of you and she kind of gestures you forward and goes, Pete, we're going underwater for a bit. Oh, uh, okay. Keep the ship at a slow trawl. You can all swim, right? Uh, oh, what? yeah. Uh, of course. You yeah, might want to totally. ditch the... Uh, she looks towards you, Milo, and mm. kind of just just your armor. I mean, it, it, it's it, it's medium armor. Would it be that bad, Monty? Oh, is it medium? Then it's you're medium. fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anyone? I guess for the sake of posterity, is anybody wearing heavy armor? Let me double check if mine is heavy. I am wearing yeah, light armor. Out. Let me. Mine let is me wearing check heavy. As well, I think. Okay. No, you're not. Shut yeah, up. I don't think I have. Um, I didn't bring my heavy armor with me. So, Gaius, in order to go underwater and swim, you're going to have to ditch the heavy armor, meaning your AC is going to have to lower, unfortunately. Even though, aesthetically, you you're not wearing armor, basically, in order to go underwater, you're going to need to ditch the AC. Just, just take off your, your chain pants. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Damn. Your rockly training weights. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dangerous prospect. Are you sure you want this? I know, right? You can't Unleashed. take them off on the boat. You'll... If you'll if, if you dunk take, a hole if, right in the middle. If you if you take if I take these off, I'm gonna unleash the inner demon inside. <laughs> the power level. <laughs> so uh, if you can see a disturbed right, song starts right. playing, and suddenly you're in an AMV. Um, yeah. right, I go over to I go over to pull, I I he like unwraps the uh, the chain link from around his fucking waist, and he look, goes over to pull. I Pete here, hold this, and I drop it in his arms. Ah! He watches. He just slams to the ground. Just in an Thank instant. Thank you. Oh, oh I, I, that's very heavy. <laughs> I think I hurt my hand, but it's okay. I, you know, it happens. Accidents all the time. I know, right? Ah. Winona kind of turned to us. All right, then. You watch as she kind of flexes her hand. Uh, and you all gain the benefits of water breathing. Yeehaw. That's a 24-hour spell. It is a 24-hour spell. And Winona immediately kind of walks on top of the railing and goes... Ladies first, and she immediately just just full on dives inside the water. Wait, is that gonna? <sighs> All right, well, after. <laughs> let's get going. I'm, I'm just gonna flop over. Yep. <laughs> you I go for any style, or are you guys just jumping in? I just walk off the side. I like I walk off to the edge of the boat and just let gravity fucking lurch me forward. <laughs> I, I imagine we're all entering the hole, kind of like how Alpha Busa did it with the the freaking Hunter family. We going into the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people jumping in like amazingly, other people sliding. Uh, Iskan is out of mm. habit, just gonna be holding his breath because he can do that for a very long time. Yeah, anyway. you can. <clears throat> Show off. Is there a? No, there he he doesn't of... know that like. <laughs> He doesn't know that he can breathe underwater because he's never done it before. Uh, go ahead, Bosco. Is, is is there any kind of rope ladder that can be tossed over the side to climb down? Oh, easily, yeah. There's a ladder okay, you guys good. had climbed up and down when you were meeting with the dragon turtles. That's super, super easy. Sweet. So Kai will use that to use his one hand to Ethan Winters on down into the water. You got it. I assume we can't talk underwater. It's a lot of no, <laughs> you cannot talk underwater. 
Oh, so you in particular, once Kai swims in the water, you'll notice that he only has the one arm to push with. So it's a very awkward swim. It's almost like a side pull. Iskan will be assisting you. All right. Winona is very clear to see in the water, and she does not see him at all hampered. <clears throat> As you guys begin to dive deep into the warm waters of Marala's ocean... You see fish that kind of dart away from you as you swim down. And after about three minutes or so, for some of you longer and for some of you shorter, you do breathe and it's a very weird sensation. It is very odd. I don't like this foreboding music. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the happiest music the ocean can produce. God, it's like being in Subnautica doing going down. <laughs> I don't have my underwater ambience, so I'm very sorry, because this is a new game. So I was like, oh crap, so this will this have to do. Where's the, where's, the, where's, the, where's the Leviathan Reaper? A whale swims by. Today's my Is it getting dark, Moni? Uh, it's beginning to, yes. As you go deeper and deeper, it begins to, like, it's not so much it's dark, it's just there's a lot of, you know, interruption in the light. There's a sort of pleasant space where the the twinkling sunlight kind of breaches over the surface of the water, kind of making this sort of god ray streak that kind of runs down just this open space. Um, would it be silly if we put the light spell in the uh, lantern on the lantern? <laughs> I can do that. I mean, we could. Boy. I was about to say, money. As soon as it gets dark, I do wanna. I do wanna cast light. You swim over to Gaius. Are you going to cast light on the lantern, or are you going to cast it on an item? Ooh. that Was that robotic to anyone else? Everyone's roboting. Okay. You guys all sound fine second. to me. You sound fine yeah. to me, yes. Now, now you're fine. Now you're fine. Okay. I think it was, was weird. Moni's still really robotic for me. You are uh -oh. robotic as hell right now, dude. Uh -oh. He sounds oh. fine she sound, to me. He sound fine hell? to me. She sounds fine. That might okay. Be you guys. I'll, 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 I'm going to drop out and come back in. That's All so right. weird. Everyone That's sounds fine weird. to me. Hmm. Yeah, everyone sounds fine to me Mark, as well. Mark, and chat's I'll saying everything sound sounds fine. fine, so. No, it's still robotic. It, it, it might be it might uh -oh. be us over here because we're close by because I'm getting chopped too. Okay, it's probably a Texas thing. Well, yeah, but you know, guys sound fine if it means anything to you. Yeah. Oh, I got SP was having issues earlier this week, so it may be tied to that. I can hear Mark and Bosco and Connor clearly. Everyone else, it's, it's garbled. I, your, I can... uh, your your internet is racist towards my Canadianness. I see. Okay, now you're clear. Now, yeah. oh, it's good. Fine. Now, all, you all you had to do, money, was play the card. Now you know album. why we play it. <laughs> 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 Solves all problems. A, 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 accused, everything accused, is better now when you call out the racists. I was about to say, <laughs> accuse Discord of racism. That'll make it work. There you go. Um, <laughs> all right, Mon so you can Mon hear me okay? Monty literally turned to Discord, yeah. you yeed your last haw, and it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you? So you're casting light on the lantern, which is more of a directional, like, single target light, or are you just going to do a generalized so it's just got like, a big radius? You're roboting again. Let's uh, screw it. No! I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to do it on my emblem to make it a nice radius. Okay, you got it. I'm just going to try to to understand what you're okay. saying. If you need us to repeat, I can translate can. if you need to. Yeah. yeah. I'm very sorry. Come I, on, I Texas Canadian, internet. We'll be fine. It, it is yeah. choppy for me Come too, on, Ted. So, so she, I... she said Tim Hortons maple leaf caribou moose, but I don't know what that means yet. I'll figure it out. Not Let me pull out my Canadian beaver. to American dictionary. Hang on. Just say you're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're oh. so we, we just keep swimming. Yes, yeah, so you guys are basically just like delicately sinking. Uh, I can swim. You can, yes. <laughs> you're an outlier in this situation, so. I can pull the water with one hand, gosh darn it. Yeah. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. When Nona, no as she's swimming, kind of turns towards you and kind of gives you all a look. Um, like, kind of like a quizzical look, kind of just in general, and her eyes kind of dart down and look back towards you. And then she points to herself and kind of shudders a little bit. Like a cold shudder or a scared shudder? Like a I feel weird shudder. Do any of us feel weird? No. I'm going to nod in her direction 
And then I'll motion towards Otho to take over for me to help Kai. And then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll swim over and I'll do that. I'll, hey. I'll go over and uh, grab onto Milo, who is now illuminated, and indicate that we'll swim ahead so that everyone can <laughs> see. And because I have the best eyes, I can also keep an eye out. Just hold, just holding onto me like a freaking plushie. That's just hold, glowing. hold Milo like By, hamburger. Hold the Milo plush. <laughs> By oh, the way, okay. um, Kai still has the bead, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, did, did you, you bring the bead with, with you? you? It's in his backpack. It's, that should be up on the It's in my deck. backpack. With, yeah. I hope you didn't bring that with you. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to and swim. It's pretty big. So, uh, Milo so and Iskan will, mm -hmm. will move ahead to kind of illuminate the way and keep an eye out. Okay, as you guys continue to sink deeper and deeper and deeper, in the far distance, Iskan, you can see rocks, but they're moving. <laughs> That's not good. That Roll... Means... Roll everybody roll for me an active perception check. Racer? Racer? Twelve. Can I, seven. Can I roll anything? Twenty-five. Else? Nope. This is a perception check. I'm very sorry. Cool. That's a nine. Okay. I don't roll above ten today. Have you ever seen That's a fourteen? Fourteen? Okay. Uh Otho and especially Escan. You know when you see an ant hill and the ground just looks like it's moving? Mm -hmm. Zombies just slowly crawling Why cover the entire rock bed. And as you angle the light down, the entire ground is just zombies. Oh, Uncle dead Kai sailors, dead oh, creatures God. walking on the bottom of the ocean. And you're intelligent enough to realize they are following the boat. Oh! Kai is going to tug on Otho's whatever and just point towards the surface to get the hell out of here. Um, point of clarification, and hopefully my role would be high enough to tell. Does it look like they're all behind us following us, or does it look like some are ahead of us but moving towards the boat? It is... How do I describe it? It's like almost like magnetism in the sense where it's just like they're trying their best to kind of go towards the boat, but they're all very slow. So while there's a lot of them in this area, um, there are patches as you kind of scan the water with the light um, that they're slowly lumbering towards the boat. Are, are they coming from all directions, though? Yes. Okay. Would oh. you would you say there are hundreds, thousands thousands i would say yeah in varying degrees of state some of them are just half torsos others are like full-on like bloated sailor bodies um and they are yeah they're very very much just walking at the bottom of the ocean towards the boat oh i hate it i will motion in mimicry of kai's motion to move back towards the surface Winona, like, is kind of frozen looking at this. I punch her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I want to, I'll, I'll, I'll go try to shake her. Shake her she kind of jolts for a second and turns back to you and she sees all of you and she kind of notices you all gesturing up and she kind of nods very, like, let's get the fuck out of here. And she begins to swim up. Yep. I assume all of us do. Yeah. yeah. Up. And you, the view of the zombie's head disappears as all of you begin to swim upwards. The shadow of the ship and the light above piercing through the water. And as you <gasps> all surface, Winona turns to all of you and goes, What the fuck? Guys? What the fuck? Look, it's a long story, but I think I figured it out. They're after the orb. They are. Yeah. And they're going to keep coming until we get out of the city. We can't go back to Martorello. There's no way. They'll follow us. They'll slaughter there. everyone. They're slow. We, 
And we do have a contingent guard on the ocean side of Marolo. Listen, but there are thousands. Everywhere. There are thousands Otho. of them. Oh, Otho, listen to me. We get back on the shore. We get out as soon as possible. It'll take them forever to not only get up on the shore, but fight all the way to Eastonvale. We just got to get back. Wait a minute. Can we, can we even risk that? Risk what? Drawing the zombies through the city? That's their problem. We need to get out of here. Kaiser. What? I am not leading thousands of zombies through our home. I'm sure Brutus can handle it. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This didn't happen last time. And, I, and, and we didn't touch it last time. Well, it kind of happened, but it needed that ritual started first. Remember That's... when Lynn started doing whatever she did with it, they suddenly started coming towards us. Right, but that that's different. They came, they came, they, I think so. They came off the ground. There was lots of, up we took that orb all the way, th halfway through Eastern Vale. We never had any undead chasing us. The dead aren't waiting this time. It doesn't... Gaius, hold, Gaius holds his hand over to Eastcan. Let me see your map. Oh, are are we saying we're up on the boat again? Yeah, you guys climb up okay, onto the sorry. boat at this In point. In my head, yeah. this was all happening on the surface In of the, the ocean. Water, so. yeah. <laughs> Let me I was see. Like, I don't have it with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, back on the boat, he'll he'll hand you the map. Gaius uh, opens it up on like a table or something, and then just like glances over it, looks at the path they treaded, but then runs his finger like from where the city was, but then back towards the water. And then over towards the bridge, they just crossed to, to where the laboratory was. Looks over to Winona. How does the how does the rest of this river travel? Oh, I I don't. Does it? You're really that? asking the wrong person, to be honest. Well, then I look over to Otho and Kai. Does the river run all the way to the north? Uh, would we know? You think it does? Possibly. There's a chance, but you're assuming the boat fits. You're assuming that there's no rocks in the way. There's a. I, I hold my hand up. It before. Hold. I. Uh, guys holds his hand up, like, kind of like semi smiling, not not full frown, but semi smiling. I'm not suggesting the ship goes up an entire waterfall to reach the river. What I am suggesting, though. Uh, over on the map, I point over towards, uh, I point over towards, like, here. There's that township that's over to the side of it, is it not? We could take a boat and ride the way up the river. It's a path we haven't taken, but if it is guaranteed to reach us to the north, we can reach some sort of destination to at least get us there faster, without uh, anyone reaching, without anyone getting involved with the zombies. Polite Pete raises his hands very politely. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to interrupt, and I, I think your plan is great. That river runs downstream, um, and it's also not, like, really traversable on large vessels or boats or even rowboats. It's a good idea, and uh, I'm sorry for... I'm just going to go back to manning the ship. No, oh, he, he, it's the only way. That's, listen, if we get back to Martyrolo, and these things are as slow as they say we are, and we make good time... We can find Rebu, we can get in the cart, and we can get out. And we might be able to get this thing taken care of before they ever reach the shore. We don't with know enough... if there are, we don't know if there are others that are closer to the shore that are gonna get pulled in by it. Well, with enough time, I imagine that if we at least tell some of the ocean lords what's about to happen to them, they can with time and with their manpower take care of it while we make our escape. I'm with guys, Kai on this. Guys, there's <sighs> another problem. They're drawn to the bead, which means wherever we go, they'll not, follow. It's not just them following us. We're going to attract more from wherever we end up going. Well, then we get to our destination as fast as possible. There's another problem. If we let the Ocean Lords know what's going on, there's going to be a lot of questions. We're going to get detained. Everything's going to get... It, it's going to be an international incident. Oh, and in that and in that regard, then they're absolutely committing suicide because if they keep us there, 
then they have one entire spot to claw in at us. Which is why we don't tell any of the Ocean Lords we're leaving. We just go. I don't see why we need to do any of that. I don't see why we need, even need to make land. We're on a boat right now. We can sail to Eastonvale. Is that possible? Eastonvale Polite Pete turns and goes, I believe Eastonvale's inland? Yeah, I was about to say it's I landlocked. Think? We'd have to I... sail over to Hearthland. I think you're going to have a longer trip if you go to Hearthland. Um, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't have my notes immediately handy. I'm sorry. The place fucking east of Eastern Vale. I mean, we <laughs> could take you to Kutchner's Cove, which is a little bit more inland, and that could get you to Quincunks and about... Oh, gosh. Winona Kaiser was like, I'm sorry, no, this is not what we agreed upon. I lent you my ship to get whatever the fuck this is, and that was the deal. And now you're telling me you're going to lie to the Ocean Lords, bring whatever the hell that sphere is with you, and you expect us to just be okay with that? We didn't say that's what we're going to do. We're still trying to figure out what exactly to do. This is kind of... None of us were prepared for this. You clearly you don't them. know what this is. I thought you were better prepared than this. You seemed pretty confident. It didn't this do wasn't... this last time. Well, what did it do last time? Last time, the only thing that happened, I carried it. I didn't touch it. Looks hard at Kai. I didn't touch it. When we brought it back to Eastern Vale, the mist that was there tried to reach out at it, but that was it. Nothing else falls. In fact, as we were traveling through Eastern Vale, no undead were tracking us at all. I, I, I guess my question is, Winona says, how much of a range does this thing have? Because we can easily outpace these things. They're moving so slow. Like, we'll be going ten times as fast as them, but if it's like across all of Martorallo, that's a bit of a problem. Exactly. The dead are relentless. They'll keep coming. They'll keep chasing us until we purify the bead, which could take weeks. Well, Nona, is there some way that you could get us back to land in an, a relatively unpopulated area that's outside of this side of the ocean? From what we could understand, the undead are only coming out of this area. If we could get away from the ocean that has these festering undead below, and it's just regular ocean. It should be fine. Oh. God, let me think. Flight Pete, keep us on course. And Flight Pete's like, oh yeah, and just kind of goes back to what he was doing. Oh my god. I don't... I could make you fly, but unfortunately, I can only do that to a couple people at a time. Plus, um, that wouldn't make us go any faster. No, it would only last an hour. It wouldn't get you that far. At the very least, you could jump the city if that's what your intention is. Kai and Milo, maybe we can all put our heads together and take a careful look at the orb. See if there's something we can do to make it stop doing whatever it's doing. That's the thing. I had a look at that orb before, and it's, it's not doing anything different. Did you identify it? Have you attempted that? I don't have that capability yet. Well, we do. My main ship has a wizard. We could maybe look at it, at least know what we're dealing with. That's probably the best idea at the moment, but make sure nobody touches it. Do you have a way of getting them a message that they can meet us out on open water? I... Uh, I'm trying to think. I Listen, I... With wind, weather, water, that's kind of my thing. Everything else is just kind of a whim. Um... I don't think I do. I don't have any way to message anyone. Well, Nona, do you have any way? If, if uh, This is going to be a stupid idea. Oh, I'd if love we, to hear it, because things are already great. If we had some way to put a message in a bowl, do you think the ocean could get it to where it needs to go? That is really cute. Um, but no. All right. At our current course, I'm making us go as fast as possible on the ocean right now with our ship. 
if we can at least beat the undead back and you have a wizard that can figure out what this thing is, that at least gives us a game plan. We just have to be fast and speedy and expedient here, I think. Really fast. <sighs> we could... If we have to make land, we could... Cut through where there are no townships. It seems like they can't get aboard because there's no direct path to the ship, right? There's, uh, they yeah. haven't been able to swim up. Which explains they the arm. Climb up. Right. So as long as we don't anchor, we should be okay. And we, hopefully we that... have to assume that if they do get on land, they're going to be faster than they are underwater. Assumedly. That being said, not to boast, but Martorala's defenses are not as weak as you all think. Maybe if they know what's coming, but again, we don't have a way of sending a message. I mean, I hate to Wait say it, but this isn't exactly a new thing. It's just the scale of it's a little intimidating, but the undead coming up from the water and attacking Martorallo is been happening for the past year, ever since Blightwing flew overhead and poisoned no. the water. Wait a second, don't we have that stone? We can send a message. Wait! We have a stone that can send messages. That was, okay, above game. That's too... The ocean. That that's was, Reb. That's Rebu. That was to the Rebu. Ocean to Rebu. Or Rebu. Yeah, Rebu. But has he's it. in the city. And he Rebu. Is, yeah. And and Rebu already knows exactly what's going on, so he would be a good point of contact. I think. Did he give it to Gaius? I thought Otho had it, but maybe I think Otho, had, I it. Otho no. had it. Did I have it? I think you did. I thought you did. <laughs> Make sure to write down shit in your inventory, guys. So I give it to you for a reason. I mean, I would have put it in there if I had it. I have okay, it. Okay, then Gaius has you it. You have it, yeah. Gaius oh, has Gaius it. Then. Yeah, okay. I was about to say. I was complaining about it getting it so easily, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I have it. Okay. Yeah, you pull up the sending stone from your pocket. So that would at least get a message ahead of us, days ahead of us. Do any of you know who he could go to to get that message across and be taken seriously? You were working for... Um, Oslamir Harland. Oslamir Harland. He would be the best person to find out. Mm -hmm. He's a I mean, go-getter. He knows, he knows everything. He could go straight there and tell him tell him that we sent him. If we wanted to be intercepted, we would talk to your father, but he's out sea right now. We don't even know where he is. Let's not Oslamir would be our best bet. Os yeah, that. All right, so I will activate the Sending Stone for Rebu. Okay. You activate it. How many words still am I allowed again? Let 25. 25 words. Information. Du, du, du. Sending stone, 5th edition. 25. 25. 25. Oh, yeah, the range is, like, anywhere. Infinite. The, the you can even is, go yeah, across planes. Is, yeah, well, the, the words go. are 25. Yep, though. yep. Give so me, you get... Uh, <laughs> what, what, what was our Ocean Lord contact again? I'm just typing this out. Oslomir Harland. Harland. <laughs> Would you like that in perhaps a few more voices? Because if you all <laughs> say it at the same time. Uh, yes, you have 25 words. <laughs> Damn it. We could pick different keys and sing it. <laughs> Oslomir Harland. Yeah, 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 this is, this is Oslomir Harland in C minor. Oh, oh good. Okay, so let me let me let me read this off real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. Okay, I made it. I made it to twenty four words. Rebu, uh, Rebu, send word to Oslamir Harland. We are a few days out at sea, returning. Undead hordes follow in our wake. Prepare. You get a response back. Uh, hi. That's wow. Um, I'll finish my drink then. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks. You do that. <laughs> you might want another I'll one though. Try my best. Hopefully, he'll listen to me. 
How many times can I use this thing again? Only once per day. He's not One. done either. He's he's got some words left. Okay. I'm kind of a bit riffraff. I got nothing else then. I can't tell yeah. him anything. Yeah. He seems like he's gonna do it, but he seems like I'm gonna do my best, but hopefully, well, hopefully he'll be to smart me. enough to use our fucking names. <laughs> <laughs> Hope, hopefully I, be I believe in this man's ability or this person's ability to use our I, fucking names I did tell him my real one I did end up doing that I think that's the best we can do right, so well... we, we've got options if we're we've notified the authorities as best we could and they'll prepare and we can hope and pray that the defenses of Matarallo can last against the thousands of undead and that the hordes and the ogre wives won't take advantage of that. Well, I mean, no. as far as they know, they don't know what's going on. I, at least I'd hope. You know, here's something to think about, too. If they're following the orb, they may just completely ignore everything else. I don't, I don't want, want to bank on that. that. No, I don't. I don't say we should bank on that. But what I'm saying is, if we can keep away from, on our way back, if we can keep away from civilization, it it might be alright. That's what I was going to suggest. You guys, as you say that, you'll see Eastgun place his map down and start pulling out uh, some marking utensils. And he's going to start trying to chart uh, uh, the fastest way back to Easton Vale without using the roads. You're going to need a better map, Winona says, as she kind of looks over top of you. Do you have one? On my ship, I do, yeah. A land map. Well, then I'll make it better when we get there. But I got to at least start now. Okay. In the meantime, everyone, she looks towards all of you, take a deep breath. It's going to be fine. Right. He's got in the corner. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Otho will actually be looking over Iskan's shoulder while he's doing this. I wonder. I wonder if we couldn't use this to our advantage somehow. Who are you saying that to? He's just mumbling under his breath as he's looking uh, over Eastgun's shoulder. Eastgun is definitely focused on this map, so. He won't have heard you. Would, Would I know kind of where, where, uh, large bandit sightings or ogre wife encampments would be? Uh, no, because they're not marked on your map, unfortunately. Fart. Fart and poop in my pants. Uh... <laughs> Jesus, Connor. <laughs> I believe the medical term is sharting. <laughs> Thank you, um, Mark. You're welcome. For what it, what, it, what it may or may not be worth, um, money, Milo is actually going to try and go into the kitchen. It's more of the larder than a kitchen. It's not really a kitchen. It's a small boat. Does it have a fire? Uh, it does not. No, it's a fucking wooden boat. Okay. Hey, yeah. Monty. Wasn't sure where it cook anything. Yeah, Winona's big ship has a definitely has like other. Oh, and that's stuff. right. That's yeah. right. We're on the we're on the sloop. You're on still. you're on the that's little right. tiny boat. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Yes, Bosco. Uh. I would like to go towards the front of the ship and set up the orb on the backpack without touching okay. it. So basically turn the backpack inside out. <gasps> oh, wait, holy shit, a moron. The fucking wizard is on the boat with you guys. I was about to say. Because <gasps> she identified all the items for the fucking yeah. dragon turtle. Oh, oh, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. I forgot that she was there. <laughs> Let's go do it's, that. It's just Let's, like Dave and Gateway. Mind. That, that seems moron. to be having to burn something. Wow, that poor wizard. I completely neglected her. Yeah, she's you know there. I'll take the, did I'll she take just the sleep through the fucking zombie attack? <laughs> 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 what happened? 
Listen, she's a wizard. She's writing in her book or some shit. I don't know. I am so <laughs> sorry, too. guys. Hey. I completely <laughs> forgot she was on board along she with was, the other two well, crew let's members. Let's go ahead and do that now, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. She was do busy that. doing wizard things. She was, yeah. That's all right. Winona, in her lapse of way, judgment, real, she... forgets about the fucking wizard she has on her own ship, and the wizard is a little offended. Uh, she kind of <laughs> sits in her desk, looking a little perturbed. Uh, currently is looking through a book at the moment, and I'm, ass I'm assuming you guys explain the situation. Oh, yeah. Yes. Short and sweet. Yep. And she kind of looks to you and goes, Okay. First of all, little hurt you forgot about me, Winona. And Winona just kind of looks a little sheepish. <laughs> Second of all, um, let me just... And she flips through her spell book. Um, I just want to see if the spell requires her to touch it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, she has to touch it. Mm. So she looks to you um, and she goes, I can look at it very clearly, but I will have to hold it to look. You might need to at least... Uh, Kai is going to raise his hand. I've already touched it, and I think I can actually do it if you just want me to do it. You can do it? Kind of, it's kind of cheating, okay. but yeah. And like I, I said, have, since I already I, touched it. I have a pearl and I have an owl feather, so that would be what you would need to, to cast it. Yeah, um, Kai's gonna pull out a scroll and it's the scroll of identify that he got from Pointy Hat. Ah, that's right. Yep. I can mm -hmm. burn this and check it. I guess it's the least I can do since this is probably my fault. Um, so, but you don't have to touch it. I can do it. I think that's good. Just, I... you know, be careful. I mean, I'm already screwed, so why risk somebody else's health? And he's going to reach into the bag unless somebody stops him. No. No. All right. I'll just be observing very pull... carefully. He's going to pull out the orb, and he's going to pull out the scroll, and he will burn the identify scroll and cast it. <clears throat> Under documents is the oh, Pearl gosh. of Necrecta information. Oh. And whoever would like to may read it. Oh. Big Boscoch. Yahoo. Uh, sure. You are I'll the one casting it. identifies, so go for it. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right, Pearl of Necrecta, here we go. Uh, this haunting teal pearl emanates an aura of necrotic energy. The pearl is first size, fist-sized orb that weighs one pound. The pearl has these following abilities. When an undead creature is attuned to the Pearl of Necrecta, it can use its free action to call the pearl back to its hand. When a creature with undead fortitude attunes to the Pearl of Necrecta, radiant damage no longer overrides undead fortitude and is instead treated as a normal attack. Critical hits are unaffected. Oh. Oh. When a Necrecta-based hollowed ground has a Pearl of Necrecta on it, the Pearl cannot be removed until the source of the hollowed ground is removed. Spells such as Remove Curse, Dispel Magic, and Wish cannot remove this effect. Huh? The Pearl is immune to divination magic that would detect its location. The only exception to this is a Hokath Cleric's Commune spell. All undead creatures in a 16-mile radius centered on the orb Whoa. can detect it and know Six. its exact location. All undead Team. creatures also gain a true sight to detect the orb, but not towards creatures holding the orb. Oh, fuck. Damn. A necromancer may use the Pearl of Necrecta as a arcane focus and as an action once per day can use the raised dead spell without needing material components. 16 miles radius so hang on let me just I, I don't understand we went all the way through Easton Vale the first time with this thing 
We never ran across any undead. Maybe we moved too fast for them to respond. Or pure luck. Wait. Um. The area where we found it. Everybody was trees. And they were lashing at us. But when when we took care of that, all the undead creatures just disappeared, didn't they? Maybe there weren't any undead in the area. If anything, this has revealed something to us, though. If we are to move fast and fast enough, going through the city may not be such a horrible idea if we can get out fast enough. Only... Yeah, if we can get outside of that radius, they can apparently detect the orb no matter what we do. Well, touching it or not. The problem is, it's one day's travel in either direction. They can feel it. Which means the day we spend traveling, we might just move into them already detecting. Not on a vehicle. Indeed, we should say, make Rebu. landfall in less than two days. Basically, a ship. Of reach of most... A ship Sorry, moves four tiles. It can move forty-eight miles. Nautical if... miles. Nautical yeah, miles. The, the problem is still that any any undead in the area are going to detect it once we are within yeah. once we are within sixteen miles of them. Right, but the yes. problem th th then the situation at that is: are they fast enough to reach us while we're in a fucking vehicle? No, but remember, it's not just behind us. It'll oh, I know. No, I'm aware. In every direction. It's oh, I'm yeah. I'm super aware. Yeah. But I think our chances of making any sort of ground with as as little problem as possible, it's not going to negate it. But it'll be a lot better if we get a vehicle and just hop the fuck up on out of there. We we would have to never stop. I still have I to mean, ask the. I still have to ask the question: How were we able to do this the first time and not be completely mobbed? How did that happen, guys? Again, if there was no one Chris Zito here. Area... Hi, hi, everyone. Chris Zito from The Unexpectables here. We were level one. <laughs> you're level two. <laughs> and you're also level one, yeah. If, if there were no one dead in the area, there would have been nothing to sense it. Right? The problem is we already knew there were undead in the ocean long before we came for this pearl. There's hordes of them underneath us. Perhaps. I'm say... For a hint. If you guys want a hint, or do you want to just uh, figure sure. this out? Sure. Oh, Otho's... Oh, right. going to say something before the hint. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Perhaps, if I had to hazard a guess, we're being taken seriously now. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if we did get that warning. It's only going to get harder with every bead we find. I, I base, guess the... Base the... intelligence check for those who, would, who have any interest in it. Oh, I have a yes. negative one. To it, but here I go. I'll take it. Intelligent day. That's an 11. I got a 19. Ooh, 11. Wow. I got a 17. 13. Okay. 13, 19, and 17 succeed. It says creatures in a 60 mile radius enter the orb can detect it. That doesn't mean they're hostile, it just means they know where it is. So they might just be straight up too dumb to do anything about it, depending on the undead. Yeah, mm -hmm. like zombies would just be like, "Oh, that's be indifferent a... to it." Yeah, like like zombie be like, "Oh, it's there." A light okay, or like cool. a moth or something like that. Yeah. Potentially. Thing. Ah. Thing. <laughs> we just gotta, we just gotta baseball the 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 or back to Eastonvale. Just oh, it. it's, <laughs> <a lot ball. laughs> it's out of here. Oh my! It is gone this like the ex-wife never to return oh, again. Oh damn it! I, I, uh. This symbol is long gone, just like the ex-girlfriend who will never return. Home run! It's like damn, dude. <laughs> it's the best. Hey, yes, one uh, of the best calls in baseball. Hey Kai, what was that part yeah. about uh, a cleric being able to find the the pearl? Oh, uh, so basically the pearl's immune to divination magic that would detect it, except if a Hoketh cleric uses the commune spell. It's very specific. It's not just the spell, it has to be a Hoketh cleric. Well, so Lynn. Uh, that's I'm assuming. I was just gonna say, I think maybe 
that's whose eyes I was feeling earlier? You think she was watching us? She'd be the only one able to detect its location by that kind of magic, right? Well, wait. She wasn't well... watching. She wasn't watching the orb. She was watching you. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Hang on. Iskan, you said that about seven minutes out, you felt that presence stop while I was trying to, to cast Detect Magic. Why would she stop when I was trying to cast? That wouldn't make any sense. She would still try to contact us or keep watch over us. Does that kind of spell have a time limit? I have no idea. Look to the wizard. <laughs> It's a cleric spell. The wizard kind of looks back to you goes, Oh, now you want to ask for my help. Sorry. No, it's a roll of arcane check. I, I'm, I'm giving her such can, a tick tone face can right I now. roll one too? <laughs> sure, if you want to. Arcana check. This is going to be an arcana check. Oh, God. I'm going to intentionally Soft not roll 20? this because there's you no You both rolled the exact same. Let's go, Kai! So Ooh. it's a. Both of you both rolled uh, soft 20s. Um, you would know, Kai, that um, certain divination spells tend to have a time limit to how long you can kind of perceive through them. So it's not unheard of that it probably just so, wore out. Above game, I do know the actual spell and the time limit. In game, is there a way that I can verbalize the general time without saying exactly what it is? Or yeah, would that go be for something it. that I would only know? As you okay. can. With that check, you, you, you got a 20. I'm going to let it carry over. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. You know. So, I've read a lot of books, and one of the things I know about cleric spells in particular, sometimes they can last up to an hour. If I remember commune right, it's closer to minutes, maybe not even more than a minute in that general vicinity. And it also takes that much time to even just get it off. It's not a spell that you just do, if that makes any sense. Not every spell is just poof, it's there. I got a hot question for everyone above game. If we're yeah, under if we're under the suspicion that undead can sense it but maybe not do anything about it, particularly dumb undead like zombies, why are thousands of them following us right now? Because we are over an ocean known to have to just be swarming with undead and an area of forty eight by forty eight miles can sense it. I have a yeah. theory. Okay. A smarter undead is puppeteering them. That's only possible. if they're within only if they're within the radius that i i'm going to say i'm gonna be real with you i don't think it was lynn that was scrying you it could have been someone yeah. else yeah i know i, I had well, that feeling I, as well but that is that's I exactly same but, feeling. but here's the thing it would if they're scrying my character specifically it has <clears throat> to be somebody who's met him fair enough so, I mean that's 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 just the thing. But all, like, also above game, the the save for scrying is different than what. Like there was not even a save. It's typically I, something well, that happens. We're so. also assuming it's related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All I'm saying in character is that it makes sense that it could be Lynn if specifically Hoketh clerics have a way of divining the orb's location. All right, fair enough. That's an in-character assumption it, it, that he's correct. Making. It is possible based on what we know. Correct. I'm I'm just saying it's really weird that all of these undead would be following the orb when they never followed us in the first place. That still isn't making any sense. It's a different area. Um, the area we were in, in before might not have had the undead, but this ocean is teeming with undead. We so knew that is before Eason we got Vale. Here. So is Eason Vale, and we didn't come across anything stalking us. But there is the well, fog well, around Eason Vale. It's not around the this area. There's the fog around Eason Vale. There's also the fact that once we purified the first bead, we knew that it was going to get worse as they we have, got closer. But they have true sight to the orb. Mist wouldn't matter. Plus, mist is in favor of Necrecta anyway. Well, there's a lot that we don't know that doesn't change what is happening right now. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, which I, is I, that so a 48 like, by 48 to, mile to square back to of game undead like, is Monty, following us. That's the Monty, more important I would like, part. I would like to ask the wizard a very pointed question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, pardon, sorry, I, I, I forgot your name. I just... Uh... Kate. Kate. I don't even know if I got your name. I'm so sorry. Kai, nice to meet you. No, you I never have a question. did. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, 
No, 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 it's not fine, and I apologize. Uh, so, theoretically, this could be used as... I, I've studied arcane focuses before. A necromancer could use this, right? Would they have to attune to this thing as well? Like, would it be able to maybe help stave off the hordes or something? I don't know, maybe? I, I mean, like, this is what the Identify Soul reveals. There could be more... This is a very important relic. You've clearly come here for this for some purpose and it Wh sounds like this has something to do with Blightwing and the Ash Plague and something about this is ancient and old that it might have more to it than what we're able to identify with the Identify spell. What I'm asking is do you think it's possible to attune to and use? I um, Are you a necromancer? Uh... I, I'm not in anything, really. I'm just curious if it's possible. If I can just cut in here, Kai, I... I don't think that would be a good idea to even try. Well, like, we don't know we what that thing can do. Well, we have a general idea of what it can do. What if there's a way to, like, hold off the hordes? Like, that would solve the problem if I could do that. Attuning to it, isn't that just... Finding a way to use it? That doesn't stop it. Theoretically, I just don't doesn't know if it would work. Seem based off your description, it doesn't seem like you can command the undead with it. At least that's what we know. I wanna try something, if that's alright. Um sure. Kai, I want you to step about ten feet back. Okay. Kai, I'll take ten. Where, feet where's, back where's, step. where's, where's the orb? Uh, it's on the desk, the wizard's desk. It would, the yeah, I will put it down on the desk. Kai, I want you to stand over there, and I want you to will the orb back to your hand. Try. All right. Uh, Kai will attempt to hold out both of his hands and attempt to pull on the orb trying to focus on necrotic energy in particular to see if it'll move at all. Okay, nothing happens. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, I, was a little, I was a little worried about that. Whew. To be if fair, you... it said an undead creature had to do that, and I don't think I'm undead. I hope well, not. Yes, we... On a technicality, mm. I think we are. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It, 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 it didn't attune, so... It's all right. Sorry, I just wanted to check on that. So if we don't have a way to turn it off, I think we just continue as we planned um, and just get it back to Easton Vale as fast as we can. That's right. kind of why I wanted to rush. I figured the well, sooner we got it taken care of, the sooner it would be done with and yep. it wouldn't hurt anybody. That's why I feel we get back to Matarala, find Re Rebu, and just bolt it all the way back to Easton Vale as fast as we can on a wagon. Will Rebu be Kai, willing Kai's, to take this? Listen, we'll, I'll give him whatever he wants money-wise to have him take us. We can't afford to be slower. We just empty cart, just us, this orb. Nobody's in danger, and we'll just give him what he wants. All right. I like that pawn. We Kai's gonna going to turn towards to... Otho. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. We are going to have to think of a way to help the Axe Beaks. Because they're going to need to rest. As well, if we get stopped on the road due to any bandit intervention, it could get ugly quick. I also just realized something. We can't go back up on the main road, at least into a town. They'll check us. That's right. Do you think that Oslomir Holland might be able to, I don't know, equip us with something to, to help us? I mean, if Listen, he th gave you a missive to speak with Miss Winona, I would assume he's he slightly invested in your success. But Winona, you said you had a more detailed map. Eskin was on the right track. Huh? We could probably plot a chart around the, the different towns if you yeah. had a more expansive map that he could use. Yeah, could there's grab a, that real quick? I have tons of maps in my ship. I can lend you one. 
Sweet. Yeah, Eskin, you could probably make that adjustment to your map real quick, right? Just copy it over, maybe? You can have, have it. it. First. Wait, you can have what? it. Wait, have it? Yeah, you can have it. Uh, are you sure? Aren't, yeah, aren't they really expensive? And I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, you really need it, and it just, you know, it's important. I Her cheeks go a little flush. Right do, uh, Kai is going to go towards her to hug her and then stop uh, and then just kind of put out a hand. Uh, thanks. Uh, I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. She like reaches out with two fingers and kind of grabs your hand and lifts it up and down really awkwardly and lets it go. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm just I'm just right. doing it so my ocean isn't swarmed with zombies, okay? No, That's the only yeah, reason. no totally. Str strategic plan. No, I agree with you. Very strategic, very smart, mm -hmm. very very Besides, <clears throat> Fade Foss has tons thing. of maps that I can I can get at any time, so it's not like it's a big deal or anything. If we're looking for if we're looking for an area to avoid people. And I feel crazy for even suggesting it. There is an appropriately named road we can follow. I thought that was off in the east. Well. We'll figure it out once you get your map, but in the meantime, all of you breathe, seriously. I'm breathing, I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I am the pinnacle of anxiety right now. You are really losing it. I'm a bit concerned, Gaius. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go off the handle like that. Just a lot. I just Listen, get so nervous gonna... under pressure. Gaius, you never get nervous. In fact, I don't think you get- Oh, you are either. dead wrong! <laughs> <laughs> that was in character, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was a tonal shift. All right, you all have your orders. Start getting back to the rigging. And no more fishing, unless you want to get... Actually, you know what? Milo, keep fishing. I'll, 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 all right, then. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep fishing, then. We can use that to tell if we're being followed still. Uh, do you have some extra line and, and some more hooks? I, I get the feeling I might lose it a couple. We should have something, I'm sure. Yeah, if they got extra tackle, I'd, I'd be happy to use it. Guy's hand to his grappling hook. This might be a bit big, but actually, that's not a bad idea. Guys, if you could, guys, if you could fish with me, and if you could snag anything, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, but that's like thousands of feet to get down. Uh, eh, it's just a thought. Fair enough. All right, everyone, all hands on deck. We make ourselves towards my ship. And a day of travel occurs. You guys get a long rest in. Woohoo! No <laughs> more fishing. When, I, when we wake up, can I steal Otho real quick? Before absolutely. We do whatever comes next. That's okay. our Otho. You can't take him. <laughs> no, I need to borrow. I'll bring him. Take back. me away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would uh, Otho be doing when we wake up? Just out of curiosity, would he go on lookout? Would he just pace? Would he sweep? Uh, he would, yeah, he would probably just look for something to occupy himself, occupy his thoughts. Uh, wherever you end up on the ship, you will feel just a tap on your shoulder. He turns his head slowly and looks over his shoulder. Hey. Kai. Otho. How can I help you? I just, uh, I want to say I was, um, I'm sorry I got hot-headed again. I didn't mean what I said. I know protecting Martorello is important and we can't just, we can't just take risks. There's other people involved. There's a whole city involved and you're right. I'm glad that you see that, Kaisar. It's... I know you're not exactly thrilled with our home, but... <laughs> uh. 
putting it lightly, I know. But... Your grievances are with the Ocean Lords and people in charge, not the citizens of Matarallo. And they would be affected by this the most. Yeah. And I know you know that. Yeah, I know. I just, I was stupid and I was emotional and I was angry and, uh, you know, I said stupid stuff. What else is new, right? <laughs> well, you're not as practiced in not speaking your mind and it yeah, is ad it can be admirable to wear your emotions on your sleeve and can even be a skill in some cases also, it can also get us all in a lot of trouble like you know touching the orb without thinking about it or saying stupid stuff without thinking about it or a lot of other stuff. In fact the fact is, Kaisar, that we are, uh, well, we're in a situation that not many people have been in before, if anybody. And we don't have all the information and we're bound to make mistakes. And the important part is that we learn and grow from them. And I don't think anybody holds it against you, if that's what you're worried about. I certainly don't. You're my brother, and I love you. That's not going to change. But... Something you said yesterday did... cause me some concern. This... Is this, is this the time? This whole... Necromancer business. And you using the orb, I... I don't think it's a good idea. And I know you're smart and studied and... I know you've got a great potential inside of you, but we are dealing with forces that are beyond our comprehension at the moment, and I don't want to lose you. I can't lose you. So, I would just advise caution in your pursuits. For me. Please. Kai is going to wrap you up in a very, very strong hug and squeeze you. Uh, and he will wh whisper very closely while he's hugging you. But you're not going to lose me, Otho, but... I'm so tired of being useless. I can't jump high. I can't throw daggers, I can't call lightning from the sky, and I can't throw ice. I can barely keep my arms working, and I am so tired of not being able to help you guys, and I just thought I could help, is all. He holds him close, and he pats his back. I know. Is... I know you feel like you're useless, but... We can fix that. Go ahead, Monty. We can start. Oh, I just... Is is anyone in the crow's nest at the moment? Just... Uh, it wouldn't be either of us, that's for sure. Guys, are you yeah, in the crow's Winona nest? up there? No, no Winona's pushing the sails. The oh, uh, I can go up there in just a second. Gaius, are you up there? I think Gaius mentioned he might be up there. If you want me to be, sure. Assuming Kai isn't. Um... Yes. Okay. Gaius, go ahead and for me and roll a perception check uh, wow. while Otho, you finish the rest of your thought. Sorry for interrupting. I apologize. Nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, a counter roll. Counter roll. Yeah. 
Uh, uh sorry. Did finish, Connor? Connor, did you want to finish your thought? I apologize. Yeah. Uh, Otho will grab uh, Kai's shoulder and he'll look down at his arm. We can fix that. We'll need to get this fixed first and foremost, though. And then, I've seen the way you wield that rapier and don't think I haven't taken notice. That's just old training and you remember. I know. And I know you don't particularly like using yeah. what our father taught you. But at some point, I saw you are skilled at it, and I know you aren't necessarily fond of our father's fighting style or even teachings or the way he does things, and I understand that. I do. But you don't have to use his style. You can build off of the foundation that he gave us and make it your own. Kaisar, do you understand? I, I mean, I guess, I just... Good. Yeah. And I'll help you. Kaisar, I promise, we can... We can do this together. We can go our own paths together. We need to. Would... We need to be at our yeah, best. That's... Yeah, but is that actually what you want? Do you want us to walk a separate path, or just me? I'm... still trying to decide on that. But... I have already started to diverge, I feel. Uh, he pulls the dagger out from his boot and looks at it. We won't find out. All we can do is keep pushing forward until we do. We won't come instantly. Yeah, well then let's handle the situation with the speed and I guess we'll go from there. Gaius, Besides. it is at this point that you see something breaching over the western horizon, the northwestern horizon. Please let it be it's... actual land. Yeah, if, well, no. Is it is it something that we would like to have happen? Like maybe a ship that we have seen before? <laughs> <laughs> is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, it is a ship. Uh, that seems to be heading in your direction. Um, and Winona kind of... Can, no, it actually rolled a one on its, I guess, stealth more or less, or like ability to not oh, be noticed. Shit. Oh, that implies um, that it's not fucking like peaceful or not. Well, it's wide. more about how well you notice it, like how obvious it is versus how well you notice it. And you, yeah, your nine actually succeeded with an actual one. Hey, <laughs> um, but you do notice the ship, and it does seem to be approaching, but not in like. You know, they're not loading up cannons. It's also not a very large vessel. It's about slightly bigger than the one you're currently in. Mm. Um, but as it kind of is in, it close, getting closer, it does bear a familiar insignia. Well, in any case, uh, vessel to the west. Who is it? And you watch as Winona kind of tosses you up a, like Spot. a spyglass, yeah. What do my goat eyes see with my rectangular slotted, <laughs> like, pupils? You see a flag bearing a tiger's claw motif. No! This no! is a vessel under the legion of Brutus Valentinius. Let, okay, and that's where me... we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, <laughs> wow. See you guys Bye, in a month! <laughs> Bye, Austin! Oh. Bye, Austin! Time for spooky month! It's already I spooky. I was about to say, I'm pretty Way spooked. Too spooked. <laughs> Funny legion undead of undead following us. And then we get to meet your pa.
No. And then he's gonna hold us up, and then the undead will show up. And oh, it'll be not great. after not after no. that talk. By that's the way, the, that's the Gaijin, worst. don't think I didn't see what you just did. What? Oh. We get to meet their pa. Oh, I can't fuck off. <laughs> I can't believe Dad is gonna bend down and and bite me by the scruff and carry me off. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get a, gonna get such a spanking. God, I know what he looks like, and that's just a weird visual. All right. <laughs> Just this that dude picking up a twenty something man and <laughs> I will say this, it's not his flagship. It is a smaller vessel, but it does bear his his flag. So. It's still it, you know, let's just ignore it. I think it's great. It'd be great if we just, just ignore it. It's fine. <clears throat> what? Focus on it more? No, that's don't no. don't no, that's don't mind if I do. Shoot a <laughs> shoot a flare, shoot a shoot a flare to, to point out our position. Yeah. Shoot out the flare and, 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 and like, Fire the like the cannons on the port side. You shoot out the flare and it just like in calligraphy writes out Otho and Kai, the sons of Brutus Valentinius, are aboard this <laughs> vessel. Just in case you wanted to know. Wow, I'm really that's glad we packed that awfully flare. specific you... flare. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck? I'll, oh, I just I found it. It's it's fine. I feel like such an idiot that I forgot fucking Kate was on board. She was on no, the fucking good. crew list, too. And I'm like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. God damn it. It's fine. It led to good role play. We're good. Yeah, it did. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. But, yeah, last session before uh, October happens. So we'll see, we'll see our heroes again in November. Yeah, yes. you guys, oh. you guys have your orb, and now you kind of know what it does. Which, by the way... I will say this, even though it kind of breaks the rules, it doesn't give you all the details because it would we'd be there forever because it's a very ancient, yeah. very, you know, MacGuffin-y oh sort God. of item. But <laughs> And hey, guess what? Even if we get this bead, we can probably expect the next one to be even worse. Even worse. Yeah. yeah. The evolving well. MacGuffin. Uh, also good scene, Connor. So that's, yeah. that's episode 19, by the way. Yep. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. We are we are now officially, what is it? Like one one tenth of the way through uh, <laughs> as far as we were the last campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. It only took us, what, a couple months? <laughs> yeah. This, the Marauder one is, is long because like just getting to the orb is really hard and now getting back. We have to get all the way back. Interesting. But wow. well, hopefully Winona's, yeah. Winona's map will give you guys some more information that you can use. I mean, well, uh, even if it doesn't, it's a map. It it's a map. map. It's a and better she's, map. And than she's the map. giving it to you because, you know, know, she can just get a better one and it's not a big deal. It's fine. I didn't want to break. Better one with gold ink. I didn't want to break that moment with Kai, but in that moment, Isken could have proposed. <laughs> 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 I wanted to I wanted uh, to do another friend thing, but I just couldn't find a good opening. Well, we can we'll we'll depart from this scary mist filled land and go into another scary mist filled land. Well, the mist uh, is gone. You got rid of the mist. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Now it's just a little well, weird. No, it's it's just, it just got relocated up, to to Ravenloft. It was, it just, to it was Ravenloft. a transitional statement. Good lord. What? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> It got removed to Ravenloft, where uh, we'll we'll pick up next Wednesday. Uh, however, this this Saturday, this coming Saturday, will be the first episode of the second uh, mini campaign for Gobtober. Gobtober, yeah. oh yeah, two. Gobtober two. Yes, indeed. Uh, where where the sound of howling breaks through the night. Uh, what could that mean? Who knows? Find out this Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Uh And yes, I suppose we should go ahead and do our outros now, even though I want to stick around because it's not going to be able to play for a month. Uh, uh, well, let's go ahead one. and... Never mind. It was a terrible joke. I see. Uh, w well, when when you're not making those, where can they find you, Gaijin Goomba? I am always making terrible jokes. I am not a funny person. Uh, you find me twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, experimenting with Mondays. Uh, Mondays are going to be the dedicated build streams. 
uh because i i know some people don't like to expect a gamey stream and then that's not gamey um so yeah probably this weekend's gonna be monster hunter rise because we get that fresh hot pipe and dlc three new monsters some other new things in there uh i might honest to god do more cyberpunk because the game is works now it's good yeah uh connor i saw you playing i'm like mm, I i'm playing but the I'm shit out of it yeah i i'm i'm getting into playing the shit out of it so it's it's good um other than that i will be back on my on my regular weep shit in october um it might be good that i'm also going to be taking a break uh so i can start playing catch up because i have a lot of videos to get out to try and catch up on things so don't miss out on that um video uploads will typically be on the weekend usually every other weekend um so yeah i just more orc shit more weep shit going down that's just gonna be me for a while all righty uh mark allen jr where can they find you and what are you up to you can find me on twitter.com at mark allen jr here on twitch at aeon pro tech gaming and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on instagram at chonk for life streams are gonna be weird in october uh, because now you guys know I will be busy on Saturdays being here. Uh, and Thursdays are out now because I've become addicted to playing the Digimon trading card game at my local <laughs> tournaments. Uh, so that's what I do God. Thursdays now. I'm so, so envious that you have a scene locally like that. Oh. I mean, I don't live in the middle of nowhere. I know. I don't know what to tell you. Don't worry, Monty's actually know. coming to California soon, so it'll be fine. We'll get her. We'll get her involved. <laughs> Um, but, um, this, this, yeah, this month's going to be a little weird. I'm going to try and maintain my Tuesday streams. Uh, Mondays may come back into play. I don't want to compete with Gaijin, but that might be my only day that I can. Oh, dare you. <laughs> so, well, what time? What, what time? Uh, usually be... evenings, like between 7 and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Is that is when you're when I start? Is, is that when you're, okay, so when you're starting. I, yeah. I, I, I might be able to raid you then. Oh, well, that, now it's a threat. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> but we'll figure all that out. And, uh, yes, yeah, so next Tuesday for sure, possibly Monday. But next Tuesday we will be back with some <laughs> uh, Sonic 06. Uh, and maybe we'll move uh, Digimon Survive to Mondays for the month of October. Uh, if that doesn't work for you guys, let me know. My Twitter is always open for interaction with people, so feel free to bug me there. Uh, I also have, sorry, I know this is running a little long. I have a few things uh, that are surprise in store that may be coming out over the next month. Uh, so if you want to keep up with all that, um, Twitter is the greatest place to do that. That's where all my updates go. So uh, again, follow me on Twitter. You'll get all the info you need. And that's it. I'm sorry. I, I laughed, but I just, Callum Draws just said 50 bits. Otho and Kai's dad is back from the store. <laughs> just made me laugh. <laughs> and he brought he the milk. cigarettes. <laughs> He came back. Uh, from, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he came back from getting cigarettes. Dear Lord. Sorry, just it made me laugh just seeing. I don't know why. The visual is just funny. Anyway, sorry. I apologize. Damn. And he's telling us the One Piece is real. Damn. Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, Zito, where can we find you? And what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. CZ Backlash on Twitter. Uh, go on my Twitter. I have a card there. It'll tell you, like, basically the gist of everything I'm doing all at once because I'll be here for fucking millennia trying to explain it all at one go and everyone will just be like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm doing, like, seven things all at once at any given time. Uh, as it comes for Friday, uh, I will be playing the Outbound Ghost, which is Paper Mario meets Pokemon, the indie game. Uh, it needs a little bit more of its own, like, time slot, because it's going to be a little bit more uh, involved than the previous three other games I played on Tuesday was. Uh, homebrew stuff. Aloysius Volume 2 Spelljammer Edition. Soon TM. Some Sometime before the end of this year, TM. I like Thir Soon R. Th thir <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> soon C there is my favorite. God damn it. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, 30, 30 new playable races, all of them having to, something to do with uh, Spelljammer uh, or have been involved in Spelljammer since 2nd edition. 
with one extra race that I have made specifically for this book. Which one is it? I don't know. You'll find out. I've talked about it before, so if you don't remember what it is, what the fuck is wrong with you? Pay attention. Oh, man. That's right me. on. Uh, Monty, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Oh my god, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.t forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow will be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It's been a really good time. We've gotten to, like, it's getting real good now. This is where the, the floors start getting real real fun and wild. So if you're interested in checking out me running pre-written Din Dungeons & Dragons official content, definitely check it out there. We It's kind of my learning game. That's where we, you know, I've learned cover and i also been trying out that's where i first tried out encumbrance and little fun mechanical things like that uh but the party is currently dealing with a, a wet mushroom cave um with a bunch of fun things inside uh yeah, and they're also very audible question mark <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also they're they gaslight bracky so what's not to love uh -huh. um it's that's it's, what we're all there for that's what we're all there for. Um, it's a really, really good time. It's got lots of really good players, and it's it's a really nice dropping game. I also have been uploading all the parts to YouTube. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, I do have a YouTube channel where I upload my VODs. Uh, and then hopefully, I, I really wanted to play it this weekend, but hopefully we can get back into Majora's Mask because we're at the, like, we just finished the, the Great Bay Temple and we're heading to the, um, the last temple. Um, which Zito has hyped up to be not a good time, but you know what? I'm gonna use a guide, <laughs> and I'll probably, I'll be okay. I'm as long as it's not as bad as Snowpoint Temple, because Snowpoint Temple was not uh, wasn't pleasant. Um, I uh, like the Great Bay Temple though; that one was really fun, and I, I I did like the first temple as well. I found that one very fun. Anyway, uh, um, I think that is it for me. So yeah, right on. Uh, Everyone in chat is saying it's worse. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Ed Bosco, we're going to find you and what are you up to? Think about me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. I am going to plug something on Sunday. Oh, I've started streaming over on. T yeah, sorry. We're at the end. I can do this now. Uh, twitch.tv slash Hey Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit and I are playing through Soul Hackers 2, which Ooh. is the same kind of universe game style as Shimagami Tensei and Persona. So oh. it's a lot of fun. We're going through it. I play Raven in that game. So it's kind of like when he was going through Trails of Cold Steel and he played through it and would bring me in. But we're playing through the whole game. So if you want to check out Soul Hackers 2, it's awesome. You should come by and say hello on Sundays. I think it's, uh, we normally start around 5 p.m. PST standard. So we're going to try to stick to that. We might start at 4. But yeah, just check out his channel. You'll see us. Right on. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. Stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, be sure to check out my DM's Guild. I release 5th edition content there, including the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger, which hopefully by the time uh, we, we come back to the Unexpectables will be released. Uh, because I'm, I'm wrapping up a couple of other projects that I've been working on, and maybe you'll hear about them soon. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but yes. Uh, other than that, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsors for this evening's escapades: Die Whoa. Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. Die. 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 I've been using plastic. I've been using their plastic dice, which are also really good. But I, I felt like cracking out the metal stuff. So solid. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a set of their uh, polymer dice, and they're like really light. They're surprisingly light. I thought they'd be but more yet, dense than they are. But yet, not light in like you know the the way that like cheap plastic is. It's like it's light in a like a pleasant way. Feels like you're rolling nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sick. Nothing at all. I just rolled a 10. Nice. Uh, and you can get a hold of some mm. dice as well by uh, heading on over to dieharddice.com using the code UNEXPECTABLES, no exclamation point. Uh, and you can save 10% on your order. And also, we got to thank uh, wonderful people who stopped by and give us businesses. 
Uh, where do we leave off for the for the Bosco halftime show? Uh, we left off at oh, what was her name? I uh, gosh darn it! Uh, I think it had two dashes underscores in it. That's the um. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just I'll just start at the you bottom. Start somewhere here. and I'll tell you if, if it's wrong. <laughs> Saint Saint Jimmy zero one zero. Thank you for gifting. My God, is this a hundred subs? Fifty. Oh my 50 Lord! Subs. Jesus, 50. it's still a lot. That's it's still a lot. Fifty subs to the community. My goodness gracious, wow. stay alive. God, look at all of those. Look at all those purple stars. It is September. It is it September. Is, yeah. Only for today. There you go. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Da, 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 da. One more day. <laughs> One more day. Uh, uh, Tau Set. Thank you for the three months of subbing. Goss21, thank you for the seven bits. Everyone identifies the Pearl of Necrecta. Also, everyone, I don't feel like saving Easterville anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Level 1 Eevee, thank you for the 14 months. Spooky fun, spooky month. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. It really is the curse of the Black Pearl up in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> By the way, we need an episode start title. Believing in ghost stories. Uh, uh, we've we got one from one Bubba Bob. Yeah. Uh, from Bubba Bob here, thank you for the uh, 500 bits. Episode title, Bottom Feeders. I liked that Ooh, one. Ooh, that's, that's a, a good, good one. one. That's really I'll write good. write that one down. Yeah, well, we've got some more coming. Don't worry. From okay. Killer Chansey with a 10 bits. Episode title, We All Bloat Down Here. Oh, that's mm, also good. gross. Nice. Those are both good. We all bloat down here, Douglas. Oh, <laughs> Dice, Dice Ruler, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, it's okay, Kai. Father is nowhere near us. Otho turns <laughs> around and sees their father. I, I had a oh, huge shit. smile on my face when you're just talking about like all that. I'm just like, looks at the camera like I'm on the office. <laughs> <laughs> dad's here. But it's not, hey, that's not his flagship. We might escape. Your dad's here to pick you up. Yeah. Hey, your, dad, your, dad, your dad's Uber's here. <laughs> hey, you're, doing, you're, you're doing a great job working through your stuff. Also, confront all your stuff. Uh, like to booyah. Think of the 100 bits episode title A Sea of Regret. We'll save like, that one for I, later. I, 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 I uh, just fucking realized that was a fucking, like, to-be-continued JoJo, like, ending. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it shit. It really was. The boat is approaching us. Roundabout starts playing. <laughs> yep. Uh, Protoss103, think of the five bits. I swear, Monty, the cliffhangers you leave when there's an absence of the campaign. I can't wait for spooky month. I'm sorry. Count I, draws... I, 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 I feel bad, but also, like, especially for you mark where you're just like no just give us a nice calm ending and i'm it's like just because it keeps with happening the friends, the... no way <laughs> <laughs> oh um, i, I already knew breeze. that when we were going to take this long pause for october whatever we were stopping on it was absolutely going to be a brutal cliffhanger R real quick it is a bit late and i'm yes, still sick i want to go to yeah, sleep yeah, yeah. <laughs> good night guys we'll see you go ahead and enjoy october like and go actually to take a break good night all have a good bye. A break. bye guys and we'll see you in a month yeah. Oh, fuck. Those are the last we ever saw of him. Yeah, no. never, never seen again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Callum draws over the fifty bits. Otho and Kai's dad is back from the store. There they are. Oh. There's that one. <laughs> Greeting sons, I've bought my cigarettes. You would not believe that. Was uh, day I wouldn't even like some soup. This is what I sound like. <laughs> uh, Bowser, Bowser, is that you? <laughs> Wait, is he Isabel? Wait, who the fuck did that? Oh, no. <laughs> this is a fucked up family tree. I'm just so much to kiss you. I, 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 I can't like understand a father. single word you're saying. <laughs> father, you're so tiny now. <laughs> Would you like it's a house? Like a, it's like a tiny... <laughs> just a raccoon like a... just walks out of nowhere and grabs a deed. That's the real ocean lord right there. Tom Nook. He, he oh, jeez. Like, like, uh, he turns into like the legend of Pee Pee. No. Oh, oh my god, yeah! god not again. I How's this like, keep getting brought up? <laughs> You're beautiful. Fucking Pee Pee. Uh, crit Scratch, think of the 10 bits. 
Ocean man, take me by the hand. <laughs> oh, wait. Milo fished it up. <laughs> nice. We uh, took the ocean Jeremy man by the queen. hand. Now we're Calum sharing draws. the same dream. Calum draws. Don't even know Billy 50 Ocean bits. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows Billy Ocean. Got it. Okay, cool. Sorry. His face just rises out from the sea. We're Arr, just trying to boom. get out of here before it's four in the morning. That's yeah. Indeed. We don't need to sing the Callum whole song. Callum Draws, thank you for the 50 bits episode titled Dead Waters. Also good. Zenlita oh, with the 200 bits episode titled Dead Weight. Uh, the best that call me Dead Weight. Uh, Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm going to rewatch Ravenloft. Hey, I'm really excited nice. for this. It's year. all available. Try not to suck. YouTube.com slash the unexpectables. Watch it. Yeah. Although, if you don't have time to watch it, you could probably still pick up some stuff and watch the third season anyway. Do it. I want you there. You could also get our podcast on, in podcast format on you Spotify. Sure yeah, we're on Spoofy now. We're, we're on, on yeah. Spoofy. We've been on Spoofy, Spoofy for a while. Spoofy. I can't believe we're on Spoofy. We are on Spoofy. There you go. All right. Uh, that's all the bits and subs. All right. Yeah. Well, I have a raid target. Um, as long as it's not Thero, I'm cool with it. It's Colonel Sheru, actually. Yeah, do oh, it. Shit. Oh, it, it feels like it feels like we've been. It's been a while since we've raided Sheru. So. Sheru doesn't yeah. normally stream when we're streaming. So yeah, I'm not with that. usually. Yeah. Dude, they're so playing we'll, Scarlet. Yeah. Nexus What's up with right that, now? Sheru? What do we what do we want to say to Sheru, who is our well, lovely, lovely uh, Discord mod? Uh, wait. Uh, is there a hand oh, emoji? The... Can we just drop hand <laughs> emojis? Um, who are they playing with? I don't know. Uh, oh, Midnight Scarlet. Kai's in there. <laughs> uh, I want to make a reference back to the stream that we did. What would that be that then? Is... Uh, get the table. Get the, get the table. table. That is our rage get message, the table. Chat, is get the table. Bubba Ray, get the tables! <laughs> Basically. Oh, no. no, so we were playing AI Somnium Files, and you can click on every item. And for whatever reason, we clicked on the long table, and <laughs> we were playing with Midnight Kai, and they made some random thing, and we're like, Kai, you're way too into this table right now. And so it just became a thing that they were obsessed with tables in a very Fair enough. way. All right, we're raiding. Get the table. Let's do it. Go. Get the table. Get See y'all on Saturday. See you on Saturday. Oh, Why do you think he gives up on the table? Goblins. He wanted oh, to. Goblins. He wanted to. 